good evening friends welcome to durga soft welcome to durga soft online train so we are we are going to start this new batch in online mode okay and myself k prakash babu having 12 years of experience 12 years of experience in various programming languages okay and uh, sir we started a new batch called uh, logic based programming okay logic based programming is nothing but a new batch sir in short form we can call it as lpp logic based programming and we are going to cover 300 plus programs okay we are going to cover 300 plus programs sir in this batch you can expect uh, 350 programs i am going to cover 350 to 400 but i will stick on to my word 350 programs we are going to cover even if time permits more than this programs also we are going to cover okay sir i request everyone to please be switch on your video mode keshav next sir these 300 programs implementation we are going to see in c language java and python sir i will take each and every program and i will explain that program in c language even we will discuss this program in java and even in python so in all the programming languages we are going to discuss the solution for this problem every problem for every problem we are going to discuss the solution in all these three languages okay then sir next and after that let me give some inputs regarding the course details then we can go for what formalities we are going to learn all these things sir here the title of the course is nothing but a logic based programming sir this batch is nothing but fifth batch sir successfully first batch second batch third batch fourth batch we launched and this is nothing but a fifth batch with a huge strength we started first batches okay sir almost all the batches are now in ending it is about to end at 31st of this month okay sir lbp 3 and 4 are running successfully with uh, almost 200 programs it is running and we are going to start uh, a regular batch on these timings lbp 5 okay sir what is the duration of the course the duration of the course is nothing but uh, sir it is 3 months the course is nothing but 3 months sir but uh, probably it won't take those many months but just i am taking sir 3 months course because we need to study each and everything in the program sir don't hesitate sir you have to attend these sessions even if not possible you can view the recordings okay sir in this how many programs we are going to cover i already told sir we are going to cover 350 programs minimum minimum 300 350 programs will be there but if time permits i will extend it to 400 also but 3 months won't be required within the less time period only we can able to finish but if any time permits then i will cover few more programs for you people you can expect more programs from my side then sir what about uh, the timings of this session sir every day session will be there okay every day session will be there sir saturdays and sundays maximum sessions won't be there but if time permits i will take some extra classes also because some uh, something like sequence of programs will be there suppose consider i want to write a program to to perform operations with arrays like uh, i want to perform insert operation i want to perform delete operation sir i want to perform update operation okay i want to perform update operation like uh, in the insertion i want to insert at first location i want to insert at last location i want to insert at middle location i want to insert at any position which you have given similarly sir deletion also same first position sir middle position sir last position given location like this okay sir update based on position update based on element sir to explain these many programs minimum sir 20 programs will be there based on this 
right to cover all these programs we will take uh, sir one and a half hour two hours a session on special days like saturdays and sundays sir to complete that stretch full it is not related to the subject sir i am talking with respect to the continuation so that you people will in a, a good mood that we can cover all the related topics in a single session okay sir the timings of this course is nothing but uh, 8:30 pm to 9:30 pm this is nothing but uh, sir duration i mean timings of this course okay yeah it is a regular batch it is a regular batch sir we are going to cover daily daily so that means monday monday session will be there sir tuesday wednesday thursday and friday okay probably saturday and sundays okay we are going to plan irregularly not a daily okay then sir what is the fees for this course sir the fees has been updated the fees is nothing but 1500 rupees is nothing but the fees okay then sir to whom i have to contact if i want to register for this course very simple sir be prepared with your mobile number and email id registered mobile number registered email id and you have to contact 8096 969696 and you need to make a payment and confirm this batch and demo sessions probably 3 days or 4 days will be there today is a 23rd right today and tomorrow we have demo session and saturday sunday we don't have any demo again on 27th onwards our regular classes is going to be started okay this is nothing but about the course details what we have okay yeah sir yeah let let me let me complete my uh, complete uh, introduction sir then we can ask for is okay please wait don't mind sir next and after that sir what benefits you are going to get from this what benefits you are going to get from this okay sir the benefits is nothing but running notes running notes uh, will be uploaded will be updated on daily basis on daily basis sir you can able to get running notes okay sir i will show you some sample running notes for you people okay uh i will show you one running notes for you people this is nothing but the running notes this is nothing but the running notes sir where you are going to get uh, uh like this for every program first program okay sir problem statement will be there input and outputs will be there what a logic we have to write for that and how you are going to write the program in c language how you can able to write the program in java sir how you can able to write the program in python in python also if time permits we will see different versions also in how many uh, lines we can write the code is also very very important nowadays right how sharply how efficiently we can write the code sir that also we are going to cover as a part of this one okay sir all these things we are going to cover okay then so like this every problem statement okay with explanation okay everything i am going to cover sir all these where we have to practice these programs we have hacker rank link is there i hope majority of uh, you people may know about this hacker rank in that website we have created one separate login there you have to do the programs okay so already inputs will be given already expected output is also there just you have to write the program and you need to click on execute button whether your program is satisfying our requirements or not what is my requirement already i have dumped in hacker rank website for that requirement you have to write the program okay sir maybe you have to write a program to read a number and you have to check whether it is even number or odd number okay sir you have to write a program to check whether the given number is even number or odd number for that sir what what requirement you have to write sir you need to create the program you have to create the program that is completely your choice okay sir you have to write the program here sir once if you are writing the program already sir i have created 
some test cases suppose if the input is nothing but a 5 sir you need to print it as a odd number so odd we have to print suppose if they are giving 6 we have to print even like this sir, sir minimum some 7 7 inputs 7 outputs will already dumped sir you have to write the program and you need to okay run this program sir if you run it will verify it will execute against all the test cases and it is going to return 1.1.0 point, 1 point sir if you cleared all the test cases you will get one point suppose out of five if you are cleared only four test cases sir you will get 0 0.89 something like that marks okay sir every program is associated with one point so after completion of this course out of 350 sir if you are getting 300 plus points then make sure that you you are perfect in the program of course i will give the logics i will explain you how you can able to solve but beyond that your practice is also required sir don't worry how to run the program in that hacker rank link i will explain in further session okay then after running notes you are going to get video recording also video recording also you are going to get but it is not downloadable just you have to view the recording and the validity validity is nothing but almost you are going to get uh, sir seven months validity six to seven months i think six months only six months validity you are going to get okay this is nothing but what benefit you are going to get sir with this you are allowed to attend free workshops like uh, why only for logic based we are started free workshops sir what is the reason for this free workshop is nothing but assume sir i am explaining a string concept almost uh, in this we have uh, 50 to 60 programs will be there only on strings but uh, sir you should have a minimum knowledge on string data structure right so without using string data structure we can't solve the problem sir how i can able to solve that string data structure problems sir for that compulsory you must have a knowledge on strings right you must have a knowledge on strings sir for that we will plan a separate workshop where we are going to talk about uh, sir, some important things which are related to our logic based programming like uh, sir what is mean by string what is mean by string buffer what is mean by string builder sir what functions are there how you can able to construct the objects sir how you can able to construct string values sir what functions are there equals ignore case means what okay concat method what it is going to do compare to method what it is going to do sir compare to ignore case starts with ends with contains sir all these things we are going to cover as a part of workshop so demanding so suppose if i am taking this particular uh, string programs in the monday means i will plan one workshop in the saturday or sunday so you need to attend that free workshop so that workshop material and that workshop video also will be shared for you okay so that uh, it will be very useful for coming uh, for upcoming sessions so that you can solve the problems very easily sir like this we will have and even some applications also we are going to develop here see here one application i developed what is that application sir every character first letter you have to do uppercase so how to write the program here you can see sir here have you observed sir how many characters are there in this string if length is even if that word length is even convert it to uppercase if the word length is odd keep as it is like this we need to prepare the applications sir all these things you are going to cover in workshops not only on string everything we are going to see sir in that that video and material will be shared for you people sir like normal normal running notes only okay then sir in addition to that the validity validity of a hacker rank link okay is lifetime lifetime validity hacker rank link maybe tomorrow if i am starting a new logic based programming sir with uh, definitely not 350 programs definitely i will cover 400 programs 
sir that extra 50 programs by default it will be added to your hacker rank link sir so that you can practice and you can communicate with me through mail or any other electronic media okay sir this is nothing but what we have okay and one more thing sir after completion of this okay after completion of this you can able to crack any coding round sir starting from wipro okay tcs cts sir any company you can take sir easily you can able to crack the interviews especially this course is very benefitable for pre-final years and final years sir those who are entering into the final years and those who are in the final years okay for these two category students definitely this course will be very helpful for you people sir maybe you are attending the placements in your college right so at the time immediately one hr is coming and they are giving one problem for you are write a program to check whether the given number is prime number or not sir you have to write the program how you can able to write sir how you can able to think and how you can able to construct that program in various programming languages i am there to guide you and you have to spend some time to practice that okay sir i am giving if you are listening my class for one and a half hour or one hour next day sir listen this video one or two times and you have to practice the programs whatever i discussed maybe at the initial stages i will take three programs four programs per day but later four five programs six programs if you practice these programs then make sure that you will be strong in the programming domain you can able to solve any kind of programs okay that assurance i can able to give for you people okay this is nothing but our course sir till now i didn't introduce the course syllabus and then i didn't introduce it in which platform we are going to work that part i will take care now itself don't worry sir up to this do you have any doubts yes please let me know all your queries i will answer and you have to post your queries in the chat window please it's time for you to ask all your queries go ahead guys Yeah, so many queries. Mostly we are getting time on Saturday and Sunday, sir. No. Sunil, it is a regular class. If you want, you can uh, you can uh, view the recordings. But Saturday, Sunday, we don't have any class. But uh, occasionally we will take. Sunil. And Nikhil, if some struck not understand the concept, can we talk in Hindi? Uh, <laughs> Nikhil, I don't know Hindi. Uh, probably we can communicate with English. No problem. See, communication is nothing but just a medium, sir. Finally, you have to understand the concept. Don't worry. Okay. What about video recording? Saurav, yeah, we are going to get a video recording also. Which language will be implemented? Sir, the language is nothing but C, Java, and Python. Okay. C++ option is also given for you. But based on your requirement, if you want, you can take. Otherwise, you can ignore. Sir, will the programming language will be taught? Will you proceed to the programs or do we need to know the programming language before in hand? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Gunashekaran, definitely uh, at least one programming language knowledge must be required. Okay. Otherwise, you can't understand what I'm telling. See, if I'm writing if n percentage 2 is equal to 0 and you should not ask what is the T if all these things because you should have a minimum knowledge. So, it is not a uh, programming language background. I mean, uh, a programming course. It is logic based programming. We are concentrating only on programs, not on language. Sir, at least one language must be required. But make sure that if you know at least one language, happily you can get interest to learn remaining languages. At the same time, if you are above average student, you can learn these new languages also from this session. That much easiness will be there, sir. Okay. I can give the guarantee for that. Uh, which language will be implemented? Yes, Vishal, I told right. Sir, we are going to implement in all the languages. Anurag Pandey. No, it is not only for fresher. Anyone, those who are uh, to learn programming, yes, it is useful. Yes. Ramkoti, yes. C, Java, Python, three languages. Ahmad, dynamic programming, all the advanced concepts we are not covering. We are at the basic level only. 
okay we are not concentrating even on uh, uh, time complexity space complexity like that just what is their requirement how you can able to solve up to fundas we are going to see okay yeah yeah 10 years no problem rakesh if you are already having an account on hacker rank no issues no 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 same batch only see whether you are experienced candidate or not forget about that you need to learn something okay anurag sir anurag pande sir when you will python new batch start <laughs> okay i will inform you probably uh, in the evening five o'clock we are planning but uh, i will let you know if any batches is there you can uh, view that uh, telegram and uh, youtube there you, there you will get notification of my new batches java batch and python batch soon it is going to start don't worry what about the difficulty level dipendra yeah we are going to see e easy problems medium problems higher level problems also we are going to see okay no 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 Ashu. no alok we are not going for dynamic all these things i already told right yeah alok we are going to see those programs also tuple sets the dictionary all these things but make sure if demands then only we will introduce those topics otherwise we won't because it is not a programming language right suppose if i want to count the frequency like uh, hello how many times h is repeated how many times e is repeated if it is the case we need to choose one data structure which is nothing but a dictionary then i will pick up the dictionary for that problem and i will explain how it will work but as a separate dictionary topic we won't be sir okay hello kiyada i think you got yeah nikhil this is exercises only uh, we are going to practice the exercises i will give 10 or 15 problems advance you can practice and you can come to the next session it is a practice session only we will practice lively we will take a problem we will see what is the input what is their expected output all these things we are going to analyze and then we will prepare algorithm and we are going to write the program everything we are doing manually nikhil yeah sunil you can you can start from basics to advanced level nikhil you are going to get videos on daily basis once if the class is completed maybe half an hour or one hour after rendering you can able to get the video no dynamic programming we are not going to cover collections durga prasad yes collections will be there uh, like i told right whenever it is recommended i will take suppose if you take i want to remove the duplicates so in java i can go for one collection like hash safe like that so in that case i will introduce but as a separate topic we are not yeah sushil we are not going to cover dynamic programming yeah no problem akshay it will be very helpful for you no worries yeah ahmed we are going to see the difficult programs also this batch is for everyone sir those who want to learn programming this batch will be very helpful not for a fresher or experienced no data structures data structures won't be included here yeah advanced dsa <coughs> yeah yeah definitely i look yeah definitely if time permits we will launch yes probably it will be updated uploaded uh, within the same day itself yes definitely it will be useful for experienced person also experienced people means if you want to move from 
uh, one organization to another organization where coding is important i want to go for a coding domain like i want to build the projects like i want to do coding okay sir debugging like wherever coding is there it is highly recommended to learn this so that you can increase your logical thinking okay yeah gunashekar yes you can join as a beginner you can enjoy these sessions clear i think all your doubts got clarified sir any doubts please confirm if no doubts we can move rakesh we are not going to cover a stack data structure separately in my program parenthesis balancing is there for that compulsory we have to take the help of stack there we will introduce a stack okay queue also we are going to introduce but as a separate topic we won't teach okay logical course for advanced java concepts no sir no sir oops concepts won't be covered in this trig of no no oops concepts won't be there because those are uh, uh, project building concepts not problem solving okay of course we can but uh, something related to theory yeah hmm, yes i told right you need to contact this two number you can contact now itself so contact to this number make this payment and uh, our admin team will share the details okay so you have to follow those things yeah rakesh we will see those kind of programs also yeah anurag sure almost uh, four sessions or five sessions will be free sir then after that payment link we are going to get yeah recursion problems will be there recursion problems will be there yeah you can contact nikhil contact to this number 8096969696 contact to this number they will share each and every information okay yes shall we continue shall we continue sir please put your doubts ahead we will discuss your doubts later okay let me go with our task next sir uh, here what is our agenda what is our daily activity okay what is our daily activity sir in lbp logic based programming what activity we are going to do sir very simple our first activity is nothing but we are going to read the problem statement we are going to read the problem statement very clearly we are going to read the problem statement very clearly okay sir after reading the problem statement okay one minute uh, any one link i will i will show you so that you people will get some idea one minute sir please wait sir you can see this is nothing but one of the uh, program challenge which we are going to discuss sir lbp number 10 10th program 
sir we are going to read this problem statement clearly what is a problem statement we have to implement a program to calculate sum of digits sum of odd digits present in the given number and input a number we have to supply from the user the constraint is nothing but the number should be greater than zero sir what is the output print sum of odd digits suppose if the given number is 123 in this which are odd digits sir 1 and then 3 2 is not a odd digit so 1 plus 3 is nothing but 4 they have given input and output also sir just we have to fill that gap that's all how many people submitted this code 16 people max score is 1 difficulty level is nothing but medium okay now sir sample test case 2 is also there 101 odd numbers is nothing but 1 and then 1 so 1 plus 1 is nothing but 2 right sir you, you you will be having a panel here you have to implement in c language if you want you can go sir in c plus plus if you want you can implement in c plus plus sir if you want java you can implement in java if you want in python you can implement in python after typing the code just you need to run for checking purpose if everything is clear you can submit the code sir like what is our first step sir we have to read the problem statement then we are going to divide we are going to divide the problem okay we are going to dividing the problem so what is our requirement if problem is very big then it will be useful if it is a small chota program no need to divide the problem directly we can implement then we have to find the, the logic to solve the problem okay to logic to solve the problem sir in the previous program if you see in the previous program what is the logic sir what is the logic sir just we have to read okay we have to read a number n u m from the user from the user next what we have to do sir divide that number into digits into digits okay then what is the third step sir check whether okay check whether that digit is odd or not sir if odd then add to sum else ignore sir finally what is our requirement we have to print the sum sir let me let me read this problem statement one by one suppose assume i have given the number called one two three four five what is the first step read the number yes assume this is the number what is the second step divide that number into digits so one two three four five like this i divided we have to write a loop to get these digits check whether that digit is even sorry odd or not sir first one is it odd yes sir if odd then add it to sum initially sum is equal to 0 add this 1 sir 0 plus 1 will become 1 is 2 is odd no ignore that is 3 is odd yes add to that 3 plus 1 will become 4 is 4 is odd no ignore this 5 is odd yes add it to that 9 sir after reading all the data print the value of sum sum is nothing but 9 that's all that we have to do sir next once if analysis is completed we have to implement the problem you have to implement the program in c language sir i will explain in all the languages and we have to implement the program in java and uh, sir we have to implement we have to implement the program sir in python you need to solve this problem in all these cases okay sir implementing the problem in python will become very easy sir implementing the problem in python will become very easy sir we can write a single line code for this okay i can write a single line code for this let us see sir how i can write a single line code for this okay i will write here observe carefully sir we can we can write a single line. Sir, how you can write? Sir, very simple. Int of, okay, one minute. So, list of input, list of input, then 
sir int of i for each i in input sir if i percentage if sir int of i percentage 2 is not equal to 0 then you have to select that and you need to find out the sum of this and you need to print the value sir don't ask how it is going to work i will explain as a programmatic scenario in upcoming sessions this is the way for this problem sir how easily we can solve only single line code we have to print okay this is nothing but what we have okay and finally you need to sir run the program you have to run the program for compilation errors if no compilation error then we have to submit we have to submit the program okay for final approval okay so once if it is a success then you are going to get one point once if it is a success then you are going to get one point okay this is nothing but how you are going to solve the problem sir is it clear for you people please confirm yeah so like this we are going to solve okay i hope it is very clear right yes sir that's all about uh, this demo session sir tomorrow just uh, we need to go with the basics like uh, i want to explain how to write c c plus plus java and python programs basics like uh, I will take some three to four programs and then I will explain. Okay. Difficulty level in the program in the sense I am not getting. Sir, here it is beginner from beginner level to advanced level it will take. But at the initial problems itself, you can't expect the difficulty level. Definitely around some 20 to 30 difficult problems you can expect. Social. But not all difficult problems. Again, I am telling, sir, the persons who want to learn from the scratch, sir, I don't know anything about program. I want to practice and I need to learn coding. Yes, definitely it is very helpful for you people. Okay. At the first stage itself, I won't go for the big programs. Slowly, I will divide the problem. I will explain pieces by pieces. Okay. Yeah. And one minute, I will show you the syllabus just a tentative syllabus is there with me uh, one minute one minute yes syllabus in the sense nothing sir all kind of programs you are going to get this is nothing but the syllabus so starting first program is even or odd like wired leap year e-commerce next number free coffee cups extract the digits sum of the digits duck number palindrome sir something related to the numbers almost we have then on the string we are going to have some problems and then uh, almost up to 100 we will get the programs on numbers and strings then we are going to get the programs on arrays okay complete programs on arrays almost 200 programs you are going to get on arrays and then we are going to get the problems on matrices around 50 problems you are going to get on matrices then from 300 onwards the problems which are asked in the previous interviews you are going to get this is nothing but the syllabus what we have okay yes sir tomorrow we will meet for the continuation again tomorrow i will explain this at top level for a few minutes and then we are going to cover c c plus plus java and python programs for displaying some message on the screen similarly to read the number and to write the number and similarly for performing addition operation like i will take some three to four programs in all the languages okay yeah i told already collection as a part of our program i will take sir yeah definitely hasan whatever company names you have posted on the chart window the same company previous papers also we are covering hasan okay whatever company names you have posted that will be there in our regular sessions also i mean previous programs the session timings already i intimated right the session timings are from 8 30 to 9 30 pm daily except on weekends 
ahmad minimum 1 hour practice must be required see whatever problems i am explaining without seeing the solution you need to practice one more time in your home yeah same link only rakesh pattern programs monica we are going to spend a separate session on that those programs are not included in this but definitely we will see almost 100 programs 100 programs on patterns that will be covered as a part of workshop okay clear so hope all your doubts got clarified right Yeah, video record we will provide so this session will be uploaded in the youtube first three to four days sessions will be there in the youtube once if you register you will get day one from day one class notes and then video recording okay yeah sir thank you uh, we will meet for the continuation tomorrow i already told six months six months access will be there yeah, thank you so much for attending the demo session. We will meet for the continuation tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, thank you guys. Good night. Good evening, friends. Welcome to Durga Soft Online Training. Myself, K. Prakash Babu, having 12 years of experience in various technologies. Okay. Sir, here we are we are starting a new logic-based programming. Okay. Sir, we are starting a new logic-based programming batch. Okay. Sir, with 350 plus programs, sorry, 300 plus programs. But for this batch, I promised 350 programs we are going to cover in C, Java, and Python. So the implementation for this problem will be covered in all these three languages. Like for every program, solution I am going to explain in C as well as Java in Python. Then let me give some brief introduction about the course and uh, what we have discussed in the last video. Okay, sir, this is the second class. Okay, and from uh, I mean tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we don't have any session. Again, the next session will be on 27th Monday evening as usual, 8.30 to 9.30. From Monday, we are going to start explaining the programs for you people. And the course is nothing but LBP 5. This is the fifth batch, sir. And uh, the duration of the course is nothing but three months we are going to spend to discuss these 350 programs. And make sure that you people have to ab available in this time period, that is 8.30 to 9.30. Daily we are going to discuss problems. Monday to Friday sessions will be there. But if time situation, based on the time and based on the coverage of syllabus we will take one or two sessions on saturday and sunday next the fees for this course is nothing but rupees 1500 indian currency and you have to register for this course by contacting to this number the number is nothing but 8096969696 please contact to this number and ask for payment link they will say, share the payment link with that you have to pay and you need to get registered so after registration you are going to get running notes and videos and uh, regular class updates through mail okay and uh, what benefits you are going to get as usual sir whenever you are joining a course in our durga soft we will provide running notes on daily basis once if the class is completed i am going to upload that running notes in a google drive link where you can receive 
sir in the same manner i am going to upload even the video recording also video recording also we are going to provide then sir there will be some free workshops will be organized by myself uh, sir uh, here see we are concentrating implementations only that is uh, so suppose if you have a problem how you can able to solve the problem coding coding we are going to see but in that there may be a need of some basics sir like arrays what is mean by array strings regular expression recursion okay looping statement patterns all these things are required for that we are going to plan a separate workshop only for special focusing on logic based programming batch students sir you can attend these workshops freely and uh, videos and running uh, running notes material will be shared for you people regarding those things so simultaneously you get the language uh, language level concepts also and uh, we are going to provide a hacker rank link permanent hacker rank link we are going to provide sir in that whatever new program is going to come to my database i will upload so that lifetime validity it is going to be there for you so daily you can practice the programs on this hacker rank link okay a separate link we are going to create for our batch this is nothing but introduction to the course and what benefits you are going to get and what is our daily activities sir we are going to do these things daily sir daily we are going to solve the problems sir, sir in this eight steps what is the first step sir first we have to read the problem statement what we have and you need to divide the problem suppose if the problem is very big you need to divide that problem into individual pieces then you have to solve that problem sir how you can solve that problem for that you have to think the logic and you need to implement sir then the implementation of the program will be there in c and we are going to implement in java and we are going to implement in python and we have to run the program and if there is any compilation error it will show that error suppose if there is no compilation error you can submit the program for final approval where every program you are going to get one point sir first i will explain one program how you can able to solve then i will go with the sir basics of c language how you can able to uh, write a message on the screen how you can able to read the data that part i will explain okay sir i will take one previous batch uh, link is there okay one minute one minute sir i am taking that previous batch link okay logic based programming batch link i am taking so from the time explaining for you people okay so i will take any one problem and i will try to solve for you people yes sir please confirm is my screen is visible please confirm is the hacker rank screen is visible yes sir very good now here i want to solve one problem sir here i want to solve one problem what is that a problem is nothing but let me take sir logic based programming number 4 okay sir here you can able to see some big problem is there okay no need uh, that part we will take later let me take small program because we need to explain demo purpose right yes yeah so let me take one problem here observe here implement a program that takes a number as an argument sir you have to read a number from the user okay 
sir you have to read a number from the user and then you need to increment uh, the value by plus one and returns the result sir you need to read a number and you have to add plus one and you have to return the result sir sample test cases also they have provided like if the input is zero output should be one sir if input is four output is nothing but five sir one value we have to increment beyond that nothing is there sir i want to run this program in java okay i want to take this program in java sir how you can able to solve this problem if you want to read the data compulsory we have to declare an object for scanner class because in the scanner class you can able to read data dynamically from the user based on the primitive types what you are providing like if you want you can read integer value or if you want you can read floating point value sir if you want you can read a string value all these things are possible anyway don't worry i will explain a program and i will explain some what theory related to this scanner class sir i created one object then you need to read the number because they are asking to read a number sir obj dot uh, next in time taking yes i am reading the integer value then what is their duty sir they are asking you need to add plus 1 to this number and store the result in the same number and then sir you have to print the result system dot out dot print ln of n u m like this they are asking sir if you run the code sir first it will check is there any mistake in your program if there is no mistake sir for the given possible test cases is it returning proper result or not it will validate internally sir suppose consider i am not taking semicolon here so what will happen sir it raises a error message saying sir something semicolon is missing like you need to solve this problem by your own okay suppose consider uh, instead of n plus 1 sir instead of number plus 1 i am taking number minus 1 sir there is no error in the program but the problem is sir you have not solved properly for the given input and output then you are going to get into mark like this sir your code did not pass uh, this uh, test case because uh, your input is nothing but zero sir whatever your program is returning is nothing but minus 1 but my expected answer is nothing but 11 sir for test case 2 also the input is 4 your output is 3 but expected output is nothing but 5 right like this it has to be verified so in such a cases what we have to do you need to do like this okay anyway for this we have one special operator is there in java which is nothing but plus plus which is called as increment operator now i am running yes working properly and you can submit the code for final test cases okay sir public test cases only four private test cases almost six test cases are there you can able to see here sir all the test cases are passed your status is accepted and how much score i got sir one point like this a fresh link i am going to provide for you people sir you can see the remaining students position also here okay you can see the remaining position remaining students position sir who are doing this program like this sir you can practice right what are those test cases saho is it, it it these test cases are hidden these test cases are hidden only public test cases i am going to reveal remaining things uh, sir if i if i am displaying output uh, input and output you can able to solve the problem but you need to solve the problem by reading this problem statement and whatever input output formats they have given and whatever constraints you have sir based on that you have to provide implementation forget about the test cases private test cases it won't be visible for you even in the company coding challenges also they are going to provide a platform like this where you have to type the program minimum 10 test cases will be there if you secure more than 6 test cases if you are passing for the program yes you are eligible for the next round in wipro okay they are going to give three programs in this three programs you have to solve minimum two programs in the coding round sir for those two programs 
ఫస్ట్ టె ఫస్ట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ టెన్ టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ సెకండ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ టెన్ టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ మినిమమ్ సిక్స్ విల్ బి దేర్ ఫర్ వన్ అండ్ అదర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ సెవెన్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ యువర్ ఫస్ట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఈజ్ ఎ సెవెన్ సెకండ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఈజ్ ఎ సిక్స్ నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యాక్సెప్టెడ్ లైక్ సమ్ టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ ఆల్సో మినిమమ్ దీస్ మెనీ టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు పాస్ లైక్ దిస్ దేర్ ఆర్ సమ్ కన్స్ట్రెయింట్ సమ్ కంపెనీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కండక్ట్ సర్ నాట్ సమ్ మ్యాక్సిమమ్ కంపెనీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కండక్ట్ కోడింగ్ ఛాలెంజెస్ ఇన్ దిస్ సినారియో ఓన్లీ దట్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ వై వీ ఆర్ ఇంట్రడ్యూసింగ్ దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ కోడింగ్ ఛాలెంజెస్ ఫర్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ఓకే సార్ యూ కెన్ సి వన్ మోర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ జస్ట్ ఫర్ యువర్ రెఫరెన్స్ పర్పస్ సార్ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ ఏ ప్రోగ్రామ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్డ్ డిజిట్స్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ద గివెన్ నెంబర్ సార్ ఐ వాంట్ టు సాల్వ్ దిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ బై యూజింగ్ సి ఓకే హౌ యూ కెన్ ఏబుల్ టు సాల్వ్ దిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఫస్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు రీడ్ ఏ నెంబర్ కాల్డ్ ఎన్ అండ్ డిజిట్ మస్ట్ బి రిక్వైర్డ్ సమ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ సార్ నౌ బై యూజింగ్ స్కాన్ ఎఫ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ యూ కెన్ రీడ్ ఏ డేటా ఫ్రమ్ ది యూజర్ యూ నో వెరీ వెల్ ఓకే then sir while initially sum is equal to 0 sir while until your n value is not equal to 0 sir don't worry just for demo purpose i am explaining for you please don't worry okay please don't worry now n is not equal to 0 sir i am taking digit is equal to n percentage 10 then sir you have to check the condition whether your digit is odd digit or not if it is the odd digit what we have to do sir sum is equal to sum plus d we have to take then n is equal to n by 10 we are taking that's all finally you have to print the result don't worry i will explain in detail about this in our programs like with the diagram i will explain because calculating sum of the digits is a very very important program even in future also we are going to see these type of programs in matrices and even in arrays that is the reason sir you need to learn very clearly in the beginning sessions itself okay next if you run the program it is going to run against public test cases yes both public test cases are passed now you need to submit the code for final test cases yes i think all the final test cases are satisfied this is the way how you can able to solve this problem by using c language implementation like this for every problem you can able to expect c language code you can able to expect java code you can able to expect python for every problem okay sir even if i am giving any homework for you people definitely i will do as a part of my duty okay then sir after completion of this i am going to copy paste the program whatever we have done you can maintain this reference ba- reference document sir even in your future also just you can search for the program you can search for the program and that program code will be there for you okay sir it will be very useful when you are going for any coding round just half an hour or one hour you can refer this document if time permits you can take print out also sir okay yeah sir i think uh, how you can able to solve the problem in hacker rank the mode the approach what we are going to follow sir i think it is very clear for you people right sir forget about coding definitely i will explain it is my duty okay yes sir up to this do you have any doubts please confirm yeah morning it is not possible to take the batch this batch is specifically from 8 30 to 9 30 sometimes 9 45 like that and payment details are shared in our chart window please look into it and try to register as early as possible okay no 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 yeah you can contact to this number i already told right you can contact to that number 8096969696 
they will provide the details or you can send to durgasoftonline@gmail.com yeah akshay at the beginning level today that is a task how to print a message on the screen how to read the data from the user that part only i am explaining in today's section okay so we are not entering into the actual challenges because uh, um, basics is important at least whatever concepts we are using in our program at least you should have a minimum knowledge that's why sir as a part of that we will see how to uh, interact with uh, reading and writing io operations that part we are going to discuss now akshay don't worry yeah 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 this timing this timing was uh, fixed sir it is not possible to change because some other sessions are there for me from 7 to 8:30 okay yeah programming topic Mayank Kumar, we are going to cover all these areas like uh, programs on numbers, programs on strings especially, programs on arrays, programs on matrices. Okay, all this area we are going to touch. Only on arrays we have almost uh, fifty to, if you not fifty, seventy to eighty programs are there. Okay, data structures we are not covering. I already told data structures is not there in this. for data structure a separate batch will be there you can join for that because here we are concentrating on problem solving okay no there is no morning batch ds problems if uh, i already told in the last class itself so if any suppose if i am taking any program somewhere i want to introduce a q concept then we will take that q concept and we will implement here okay but we are not going to cover that q data structure in detail in our course are you getting my point so if 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 anything is required we will bring that into our concepts but uh, that complete concept we are not moving something like we are going to embed that concept in our program but that part we are not going to cover as a separate topic that's what i am explaining sir data structures if demand here we will use that data structure but program to implement stack data structure q data structure you can't expect such type of programs from here okay because it is related to the problem solving not theoretical concepts okay yeah sorting technique will be there see uh, if i have a elements uh, they will ask us to sort the elements in different different genres okay but uh, you can apply any algorithm we have almost 6 to 7 types are there efficient techniques like merge sort quick sort bubble sort selection sort insertion sort like that you can apply any sorting technique but all these sorting techniques final output is the same right so that point we are covering here you can implement in any sorting technique okay yeah python batch uh, you can expect maybe in the first week of january evening times yes yes we are going to plan that batch also yeah yes sir remaining doubts we will discuss later sir let me continue our content now sir what is today's agenda is nothing but sir first i want to explain some programs for you people sir i want to explain some programs for you people okay let us see what is that sir please ask relevant doubts okay <laughs> django all these things not required here so you can able to see uh, our telegram group is there in that you can expect all my batches okay sir uh, java by k prakash babu sir or python by k prakash babu sir sir you can able to expect these courses from my side 
Java is there, sir, Python is there, okay. Then this logic based programming is there, okay. And moreover, sir, full stack, okay. Sir, full stack Java developer batch is there, okay. And then, sir, core, core and advanced Java, core and advanced Java, sir, both package batches are there. So, from my side, okay. So, this uh, full stack Java developer batch is going to start on 29th, sir, 29th December 2021, sir, at morning 8 o'clock, okay. So, the link is already there in our uh, Telegram group. You can check it, okay. Similarly, sir, Python batch date is not yet announced, but it will be in the sir, first week of uh, January, January. Sir, 2022. Maybe in the evening times you can expect. And in the same slot, you can expect one Java batch also. Java batch in the sense core and advanced Java. Okay, same. Maybe in the first week or uh, second week of uh, Jan, Jan 2022. Same in the evening timings only. These are my upcoming batch details. Okay, if anyone interested, yeah, you can. Thank you. Now, sir, let me go for, uh, first I want to talk about output statement, sir. If I want to print any output on the screen, sir, how you are going to print? In C language, sir, we have one statement is there with the name, sir, printf. Maybe you know about this, printf. You can take a message here, sir, which is going to print that message on the screen, okay? Similarly, in C++, sir, we have, I, sorry, C out is there, sir, we have to take a message here, that message will be printed on the screen. Sir, I will take a message here, welcome is nothing but my message here also, welcome is nothing but my message. Then, sir, how you are going to print the message on Java? In Java, we have different approaches are there, first thing, System dot out dot println welcome we can use like this. Sir, next one is nothing but uh, sir, you can take a system dot out dot print ln of uh, welcome like this also we can print. Some slight changes will be there. That part as a, uh, uh, while explaining the program itself, I will take sir. Then system dot out dot uh, printf also we can take. Sir, do you know it is uh, similar to this one? How your C language printf is using? Same printf they have provided in Java also. Next, sir, what about Python? Sir, in Python, directly we have print. Sir, you can take the message. Even semicolon is not required. Python is a dead easy programming language. Sir, these are nothing but uh, statements what we have. And uh, please wait for another 5 to 10 minutes. Sir, I am going to explain the complete concept for you people with examples. Sir, first example, write a C program to print, sir, welcome to C language, okay, on the screen. I want to print this message on the screen. For this requirement, I have to write the program. And the same program I am going to take for C++ also. But I need to print on C++. Here I want to print on Java. Here I want to print on Python. This is nothing but my requirement. I want to solve this problem. Write a C++ program. Okay. Or write CPP program. Write a Java program. Write a Python program. Sir, first let me start about uh, C language. Sir, I want to write a program to print simple welcome to C language message on the screen. Sir, for this purpose, I am going for one online editor, sir. One online compiler is there with me. What is that online compiler is nothing but Jodel. Jodel website. Sir, you can practice the programs even in your mobile also. Sir, it is an online compiler which is providing 76 languages support with two databases also. Okay, it is an online compiler and editor. Sir, these are nothing but various programming languages what they have. But in this, what is our requirement, sir? You need to go with Java. Sir, you need to go with C. And you have to go with C++. And you have to go with, uh, sir, Java and Python. Where is my Java? Where is my Python? Python 3 is there. Sir, Java, somewhere it will be available. Yeah. 
yeah first first here itself we have so now i want to solve the problem in c language right let me open c editor this is nothing but the compiler what we have sir here you have to type the program here and you have to click the execute button and if your program demands any input you need to type here and it is expecting results will be printed on this is black screen this is nothing but uh, the functionality of this tutorial don't worry sir i will explain how we how we are going to work but anyway in our course uh, all these things automatically done just uh, you need to write the code and you need to click on execute inputs already i supplied output already i have given so no need to take by ourselves right now i am going to write the program what is the first step hash include sir if you want to work with printf so what we have to do sir someone have to write the instructions for printf function sir printf function is going to be done like this then you need to do some activity for this purpose that activities are already stored in the library format like if you want to send a message in whatsapp sir i want to send a good night symbol followed by some sweet dreams okay and uh, i want to send a smiley symbol sir if you want to use a smiley symbol in your whatsapp sir some library should be there in that library every smiley is registered there sir our whatsapp is automatically importing that library and it is working suppose maybe in your library you have 10 Uh, emojis are there ten uh, smiley symbols are there maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow you can expect five more new smileys that will be added once if you perform update operation like if you want to perform any activity repeatedly sir the data will be available in the form of library the data will be available in the form of library sir from that you can able to extract okay sir just one minute please wait one minute yes sorry sir uh, this is nothing but uh, ash include what is the header file name sir stdio.h we have to take next and after that uh, integer main sir main method we have to take main method is nothing but starting point of each and every program whether you are writing java program or c++ program or python program any program you can take sir where the program execution is going to start sir from main method only then i am taking already you know printf sir i want to take a message called welcome to c language like this i want to print a message like this sir just you need to click on which button execute button so what will happen whatever message you have taken here sir it will be printed on the output screen right 
so printf is nothing but a function which is used to print the data to the console even in our further sessions if you want to implement the program finally whatever result you got you need to print that result on the screen right for that we required which function sir printf function sir i think it is very clear now i will take another program right uh, sir i want to do the same activity sir but uh, by using which programming language c++ sir the concept is the same just the programming language is going to change now i am taking c++ now i am taking c++ sir what we have to do here sir you need to write the code again sir ash include here i o stream you have to take don't take dot h because c++ supports everything in the form of streams that's why i am taking ash include i o stream then sir using namespace using namespace std sir it is related to the packages encapsulation techniques forget about that it is not in our scope now but remember this word you have to take then this main method is also returning integer value integer main method and here you need to take c out and i am printing sir welcome to okay welcome to c++ programming welcome to c++ programming like this i am taking that's all now just you need to click on execute button automatically your code is going to execute and you are going to get output here excellent sir i know how to display a simple message in sir c language and c++ sir what about java i told already in java a big skeleton we have to take sir a big skeleton we have to take of course so much security is there but remember a big skeleton we have to take sir i will explain step by step at least some some extent you can able to get sir first we have to take public class any class name you can take assume i am taking class name as a demo class name as a demo sir why you are taking that demo class as a public because uh, you are executing the program in your mission but uh, the compilers all these libraries are there in joodle server somewhere in the world it will be available so you need to send your data from here to there that's why we are using public sir these online compilers for learning purpose not for real time environment okay real time environment you need to install you have to run and you have to create jar files var files executable files and you need to deploy that in your client mission but as of now it is not required just for practice that's why public class demo the syntax of main method in general we are taking main right but uh, sir in python sir in java this method is nothing but public sir static void main string array erg yes like this we have to take sir don't worry about main method also we are going to cover one workshop if you attend that workshop the complete story about this main method you can able to get sir that's all beyond that nothing sir now system dot out dot i told several functionalities are there but regularly we are going to use welcome uh, sorry print ln welcome to sir java i am printing that's all once if you click on execute button sir you are going to execute the program and that result will be displayed on the screen here yes this is nothing but how you can able to solve the program in i mean print the message in java sir my favorite programming language python python okay sir do you know python is the most popular programming language nowadays sir i want to show you one small syllabus for you python syllabus sir you can see input and output statements are there sir in how many ways you can accept the data from uh, console is nothing but uh, input function is there and the type casting and the eval function is there but uh, print in how many forms that print function is available sir 10 forms are there in 10 formats you can use that print statement so an intelligent programming language is nothing but python sir do you know much powerful programming language is python sir don't worry sir you will get uh, the flavor of python in our upcoming sessions okay sir i want to print welcome to python on the screen very simple sir a single line code main method all these things are not required 
because python supports different approaches sir so by using python you can implement scripting language and you can you can write uh, functional programming and you can write object oriented programming you can write modular programming modularity programming sir like n number of approaches are there but anyway preferably we are going to depends on this scripting and functional for solving the problems but to do the big projects we need object oriented principles all these things sir just i want to write a simple script if you want to write a script print of welcome to sir my favorite programming okay which is nothing but python like this i am taking okay just click on execute sir it is going to print like this okay sir have a look once how easy it is right this is nothing but uh, various uh, ways to print a message on the screen okay this is nothing but a beautiful technology which we have online editors sir just i explained only one activity till now what is that activity sir in our logic based programming whenever we are doing program you you are going to accept the data from the user and you will manipulate with that data finally you are going to store the data in some result variable that result variable you have to print on the screen definitely for that purpose you required some statement which is nothing but output statement in c language sir how you can able to use output statement in c++ how you can able to use output statement sir in java how you can able to use in python how you can able to use i think it is very clear for you people sir do you have any doubts up to this please confirm friends do you have any doubts up to this please confirm friends yes this is nothing but today's session okay and uh, uh, of course i am going to speed up from monday sir monday our agenda is nothing but uh, how you can able to accept input from the user okay how you can able to accept uh, input from the user so like output statements we have in c c++ and java python right in the same way how you can able to read the data from the user i will explain almost 30 to 40 minutes we are going to spend on this and then we will see some basic one or two programs also and then after completion of this uh, sir we are going to enter into the first challenge uh, i am going to explain on monday which is nothing but lbp1 okay and from tuesday slowly because admissions has to be happen right slowly one by one we are going to see two programs one day three programs one day two programs one day three programs four programs like that so two to three days probably the demos will end at tuesday or wednesday then we will full fledgedly starts from so 29th or 30th like that okay yeah once if the class is regularized we are going to get a new link with that we can spend much time and we can interact happily so whatever doubts we are getting sir i am not understanding i will repeat one or two times see we must very strong at the basic level if you if you are strong at basic level rest of the things will become very easy right it is a very simple sir if you are writing addition of two numbers program very perfectly sir changing of the symbol only right for the next programs like that here also once if you understand the flavor of one program related programs even no need to explain by myself directly you can able to solve by yourself right so like that we will plan okay uh, how long these classes how long is the class days or months yes definitely it requires minimum uh, sorry not minimum max 3 months sir max 3 months we can able to solve okay uh yeah when in c++ also we can able to solve the problems but uh, i am not going to cover in c++ sir i am concentrating on c python and then java see why i am going for python and java actually uh, we prepared to start this batch only for java and python 
because in java and python we have so many predefined libraries are there using that happily we can solve the problem but uh, in the student point of view sir they must understand from where that predefined functions came like how it is functioning in the background for that purpose we have inserted this c language coding also so from the c you can get the complete concept then how you can able to provide implementation from java and python you can learn okay in python parentheses are compulsory yeah rakesh it is varied from version to version in python 2 it is not required but we are we are in the python 3 python 2 days are gone so last year itself python validity is completed now we are in python 3 compulsory we have to use parentheses okay rakesh yes the sessions are recorded sessions only akshay no today is not a last demo maybe monday tuesday we will plan then it will be but make sure every person has to be registered because uh, so running notes videos and uh, at the time of uh, ending okay you may not receive proper mails because our admin team will be very busy okay yeah sir tomorrow there is no class sir next class will be on monday okay next class is on monday next class is on monday okay next class is on monday tomorrow there is no class next class is on monday as usual at 8:30 from monday we are going to provide running notes videos all these things in the live session itself okay i request everyone those who have not yet registered please register by today or monday okay from monday we will rock yeah sir any doubts please let me know Yeah, Nikhil, you can share that receipt to the same number. Whatever I have given, eight zero nine six nine six nine six nine six. To that you can send by using WhatsApp, or you can send to Durga Soft Online Training at Gmail dot com. No, 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 no. All these questions are not there. Rajan. no this 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 link is a demo link sir rakesh this link is demo link once if the demo is completed we are going to share a new link okay sir that link is a permanent okay that link is nothing but permanent till our end of our course only one link but this is not that link because it is a demo session link okay yeah sir hope all your doubts got clarified it seems okay sir thank you we will meet for the continuation on monday from monday just 5 to 10 minutes revision will be there from that we will continue okay yeah sir thank you friends good night have a nice day good evening friends welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training myself k prakash babu having 12 years of experience okay and uh, sir we are going to launch a new batch on logic based programming sir the title itself is giving that much kick logic based programming almost uh, 300 plus programs are there in our thumbnail but we are going to see 350 programs pakka 350 programs we are going to discuss and uh, that 350 programs implementation will be there in c language as well as in java as well as in python almost you will get 1000 programs sir these 1000 programs if you learn then you will become king in the coding area then let me discuss a few minutes about this uh, course this course is nothing but lbp5 logic based programming 
ఫిఫ్త్ బ్యాచ్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ సార్ వీ కంప్లీటెడ్ టూ బ్యాచెస్ అండ్ థర్డ్ బ్యాచ్ ఫోర్త్ బ్యాచ్ ఈజ్ ఆన్ రన్నింగ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఫిఫ్త్ బ్యాచ్ ద డ్యూరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద కోర్స్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ త్రీ మంత్స్ సార్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ దిస్ కోర్స్ సార్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఫర్గర్ దిస్ డిసెంబర్ జాన్ ఫిబ్ మార్చ్ అట్ మార్చ్ ఎండింగ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు వైండ్ అప్ దిస్ బ్యాచ్ అండ్ ద టైమింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ బ్యాచ్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఎయిట్ థర్టీ పిఎం టు నైన్ థర్టీ పిఎం వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టేక్ ఎవ్రీ డే సెషన్ ఫ్రమ్ మండే టు ఫ్రైడే సార్ సాటర్డే అండ్ సండే దేర్ వోంట్ బి ఎనీ సెషన్ బట్ అకేషనలీ ఇఫ్ ఐ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఎనీ కాన్సెప్ట్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ సమ్ రెగ్యులర్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్స్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సాల్వ్ సమ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ బై యూజింగ్ రెగ్యులర్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్స్ ఇన్ దట్ రెగ్యులర్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ కాన్సెప్ట్ మస్ట్ బి రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫర్ యూ సార్ ఇట్ కాంట్ బి ఇంక్లూడెడ్ ఇన్ ద సిలబస్ రైట్ ఇన్ సచ్ కేసెస్ ఐ విల్ టేక్ సమ్ స్పెషల్ క్లాసెస్ like on saturday one and a half hour or two hours only on regular expression in python and java so if you attend those free sessions what will happen you will get the idea about how you can able to solve the problems where we have to use regular expressions where we have to use lambda functions all these things that part will be covered in extra sessions not in the regular sessions and the fees for this course is nothing but 1500 okay remember carefully the fees is nothing but 1500 you need to make a payment for registering this particular class mostly today and tomorrow will be the last demo sessions because two videos we completed this is the third third video okay and uh, for registration purpose or for enquiry purpose for anything you can feel free to contact 8096969696 to this number you have to contact next and after that sir what benefits we are going to get once if i am attending to your session very simple sir at top level i have given four points what is the first point running notes will be updated on the daily basis once if the class is completed so on the live itself i will update the running notes so that uh, before sleeping you can review that running notes okay video recording also will be updated sir you can able to view that video up to 6 months validity and uh, we are going to conduct some free workshop only for based on lbp batches that is logic based programming batches because sir we have to learn some extra information if you want to solve the coding i told already so we are solving the problems in c language java and python means compulsory you should have a minimum knowledge on sir c language java and python so for that if anywhere input is required that we can able to cover on this uh, free workshop okay then sir one more thing one more thing sir the validity of this hacker rank is nothing but lifetime we are going to uh, post all these 350 programs sir in a hacker rank link we created a separate link yesterday for our new lbp5 batch sir that link will be shared for you people sir after completion of these demo sessions so using that link sir you can able to practice the programs using that link you can able to practice that programs and even i will explain these programs by using that link only that is nothing but what benefits you are going to get and every time sir what activity we are going to do in this uh, logic based programming classes sir for every program we will do these eight steps what is the first step we have to read the problem statement maybe sometimes the problem statement may be very small sometimes the problem statement may be very big so we have to read the problem statement first of all sir i will show you one easy problem statement one medium problem statement even one difficult problem statement also okay sir let me take one simple one simple uh, problem i am going to take sir have a look once just i am i am showing lbp number 172 like this we have one problem what is a problem oddly even sir given a maximum of 100 digit number as a input they are going to supply maximum 100 digit number as a input find the difference between sum of uh, odd and sum of uh, even position digits okay suppose if the given number is 
sir 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 5 5 what is the first requirement difference between sum of odd and sum of even positions sir it is there in zeroth position first position second position third position fourth position all even positions means uh, one plus one plus sir three plus okay five right sir we are going to get nine odd positions means sir two plus four which will give six the difference between this one nine minus six what is the result three is nothing but our output sir like this we have to whatever i explained the logic in the diagram we have to convert it into programmatic manner sir it is a very easy program only right now let me take another program sir i have this one so i have this one what is this this one sir beautify me the cosmotech company beautify me wishes to know the alphabetic product code the alphabetic product code from the product barcode they have product barcode is there from that they want to know what is the alphabetic product code the barcode of the product is a numeric value and uh, the alphabetic product is uh, a string value tagged from a to j so we have barcode is there which contains numbers sir we have product code is there which can contains alphabetic numbers from a to j the alphabetic range a to j represent the numeric range 8 0 to 9 sir to produce the alphabetic product code each digit in the numeric barcode is replaced with the corresponding matching letters write a algorithm to display alphabetic product code for the given numeric barcode here input will be like this for example sir 1023 or 10231 like this this is nothing but barcode which is there on the product sir what is its product code they told 0 to 9 digits will be there sir each and everything is represented by a to j 0 is represented like a one is represented with b sir two is represented with c three is represented with d one is represented with b this is nothing but the product code like this we have to implement the program sir like this we have to implement the program okay sir i hope you can able to see the difficulty level also some online game sales report sir maximum energy in the science lab update every element like this we have how many problems sir almost 325 problems we have okay 325 problems we have so as of now but anyway i will cover for you people up to how many values how many programs 350 programs okay sir this zoner programs i mean 5 to 6 times we are going to cover okay jack party sir mr thomas mathematician so third largest and second smallest sir colony of eight cells actually this was asked in the previous interviews almost uh, uh, 15 days back i collected from one of my resource and then i placed like this we are going to discuss even previous interview questions also and we are going to divide the problem suppose if the problem is very big and we need to analyze the logic for solving this problem sir i want to solve that problem how you can able to solve sir for that we have to analyze the logic right that analysis also we are going to do in this only then we will take the charge to implement the program in c java and then python and at very first time that program won't be correct right sir we have to check is there any syntactical mistakes or not if everything is correct then you have to submit the program so for every final program submission you will get one point which decides your score so total 350 programs means uh, how many how many points will be there 350 at least i am expecting 300 plus points from you make sure that you should not copy paste the programs whatever programs i am explaining listen one or two times and the same thing you have to code it on our hacker rank link okay 
sir you can able to compete it with others also even if you copy paste it will work but it won't be useful as a learner it will be very recommended once if the class is completed please maintain a separate notebook try to write down sir what logics are applied how sir is thinking to solve this problem please write out in one or two pages then whatever solution i am giving don't write the complete program try to concentrate on the logic where we are going to give the importance that logic you have to write it prepare one or two times next day morning open your mobile or open your laptop already i have shared the link open that link sir go to the coding area type the program without seeing any logic try to run if you are getting any syntactical mistake of course you will have a knowledge on any one subject either c or python or java by using that you can rectify that problems so even rectifying the problems sir there is no problem in the program no so, so, so no syntax errors but it is not providing the proper output kindly refer one or two times even if you are getting the same mistake then open the program which is shared for you then you can analyze where the problem you have struck so still if you are getting the problem yes happily you can message me i will guide you this type of interaction we will have and we are going to continue this till our end of our batch like this if you practice definitely you will become king in the program of course you know every colleges every universities are giving the top most priority for coding top most priority for coding even they are recruiting the trainers from various mnc companies or from various training institutes for uh, training the students because nowadays you can see because of this two years lockdown every company is recruiting the students in the virtual mode only sir they have given so much of precautionary measurements for this copying mal practicing all these things sir if you sit on the coding round they are going to give three coding questions sir you should not use any paper or pen you should not think so you should not talk with other person sir just you have to think in your mind and you have to implement the program okay sir whatever programs they have asked so it is a very silly programs only because the students are ha not having that much uh, sir practice over this programming that's why sir we have analyzed all these statements uh, and various request from the students we have started this batch that is logic based programming and it is highly recommended if you are a pre final year students or final year students sir 90% don't think so join to the course definitely you will get the job sir i'm i'm sure in my previous batch almost 15 members they have messaged me they have called me so and they have shared their experience sir because of your batch sir we have placed so and so company sir that credit not goes to either durga soft or myself so we have provided a medium for you to learn and to practice sir even if you attend all the sessions you won't get job until you practice that practice medium also we are creating for you definitely utilize this opportunity it will be very helpful for you people sir for your career okay this is the sincere suggestion what i am going to give first point second point sir for this course compulsory minimum programming knowledge must be required sir you should have either c language knowledge or java knowledge or python knowledge not in detail just up to what is what sir how to read a number how to print a number how to perform operators how to write if conditions sir these things more than enough okay sir for this also if more students are facing any issue sir we will take a session on saturday i will explain you how that if conditions are going to work how that loops are going to work definitely i will help you sir sir this is nothing but what is our course agenda and what we are going to discuss and let me show you the syllabus sir every student is asking always syllabus that syllabus contains sir every chapter every concept will be there in that like you can expect sir uh, string programs arrays programs number programs patterns everything sir you can see these are nothing but programs what we are going to discuss so duck number number of occurrences sir up to this uh, uh, 
yes one minute up to this 100 up to this uh, 50 we are going to see number related programs from 51 to 100 you can see string programs from 51 to 100 string programs from 101 to sir till 200 sir you can able to see arrays programs and from 200 to the remaining sorry some 201 to up to 250 you are going to get matrix programs and from 250 to the previously asked questions will be there previously asked questions will be there okay this is nothing but our syllabus what we are going to discuss okay sir this is nothing but uh, what we have discussed in the previous session now i request everyone if you are having any queries please post it on chat window so that we will discuss the queries and then we will continue yes please use chat window for communication purpose yes it's time for you to please post your queries i will keep on answering so sir i am the beginner i am watching core java by durga sir will it helpful because just i started learning language no problem it will be very helpful ahmad yeah ahmad is asking one more question sir should we have to code in all languages or we should code only in one language that is up to you but i will provide the coding in so all the languages like c java python i will provide the language uh, the coding in all these three sir which is very easy for you you can pick up if you have all these languages knowledge but if you know only c please concentrate on c code that will be sufficient okay yeah no problem you can join uh yeah you can also ask doubts no problem sushant so meanwhile if the session is going on you can ask the doubts if you have any we will clarify that <coughs> last day of payment probably today and tomorrow tomorrow will be the last day from wednesday the link is going to be changed <coughs> anupa for this certificate won't be there it is a practice course right sir any doubts please confirm please let me know any doubts yeah payment link i saw i i told already right uh, in our uh, chart window it is there <laughs> one minute i will copy paste <laughs> someone is asking sir is your name is is your name is durga or k prakash babu my name is uh, k prakash babu <laughs> we will get running notes as a material or any other material will be there no sir you are going to get running notes as a material it will be more than sufficient it will be more than sufficient okay because in the running notes i may add so many things but in the material you can't expect yeah yeah okay no problem yeah sir hope all your doubts got clarified right shushant you can't expect questions from this but you can expect pattern same kind of pattern you can expect okay but uh, maybe in the month of february in the sense we may cover only basics. Okay, no problem. We have to write our notepad. Yeah, edit plus is there. See, we have a link is there. In that link only, we have to practice the programs. Okay. We have hacker rank link is there. Yeah, no need to share any screenshot of payment here. Please share to 8096-969696 or durgasoftonline at gmail.com. For that, you have to send. Yeah, for that company, whatever you have asked, Mohad, Jishan, whatever uh, company name you have mentioned, sir, we have that company papers also. Don't worry. So same kind of patterns, sometimes you can expect. Shushant, exactly correct. 
sir like this we have uh, hacker rank links will be there sir here programs will be there just you have to click on solve challenge and you need to read the problem statement and you have to write the code provided here sir just select programming language try to type select programming language try to type select programming language try to type and run the code submit the code we will practice here only we will practice here only okay you can compete it with others sir you can see how many members have submitted this code like that you can compete it with others also okay that part we will see soon one by one yeah data structures won't be there here workshops yeah lalita workshops based on the topic i will introduce searching for a course like this yes definitely it will be very helpful for you people shusha yeah okay sir let me continue i think all your doubts got clarified shall we move to the next topic yeah you can expect uh, full coding advanced coding in in the month of uh, maybe march or april after finishing of this batch i will immediately launch that course don't worry <laughs> because so many students are asking advanced coding also yes definitely probably i will take the problems from uh, various advanced level coding challenges and we will try to solve so do you know such type of problems one day one hour one problem you can able to solve yeah yeah <laughs> jishan we will see that <laughs> yeah 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 definitely sir shall we continue please confirm because from the past 3 hours we are discussing only introduction and uh, uh, what you can call syllabus shall we start please confirm yeah sir in the last video i just started output statements okay yeah yeah <laughs> my english will be simple english only i am not that much efficient person uh, in speaking english okay maybe some grammar mistakes will be there no worries it is a medium to communicate that's all yeah sir output statements we covered in the last video how you can able to print output on the screen so because whether you are doing a big program or a small program or medium program if you are doing program compulsory whatever you calculated sir you have to print on the output screen right for that every programming language is providing output statements for us in c language the output statement which we used is nothing but printf so within double quotations if you are placing any string that will be printed on the screen sir first thing second thing if you print c out of welcome this is the output statement which is used in c++ programming similarly sir system dot out dot print we can use or system dot out dot print ln we can use or system dot out dot print sir three types of print statements are available in java so three types of print statements available in java so we can use any one of the approach based on our requirement next uh, sir python print of welcome very simple print message that's all even sir you can't see any semicolon at the ending also directly we can take these are nothing but output statements in our known programming languages with this help sir i covered three programs for you people sorry four programs for you people what is the first program i covered sir write a c program to print welcome to c language on the i mean welcome to c sir on the screen how you can able to print welcome to c language on the screen very simple sir i already told the statement right just we have to include stdio.h what is the purpose of stdio.h the actual coding for printf 
sir what is the functionality of printf is already defined in one library what is the name of that library sir stdio.h once if you include that library then happily you can use this printf i executed and i displayed the output in the last video similarly let me let me try let me try i am copying this code i am copying this code let me show you sir how you can able to work with that sir already we have that editor is there one minute one minute sir what is the name of the editor i told already it is nothing but uh, sir joodle compiler joodle compiler it is nothing but an online tool sir where you can expect sir so many compilers are there in this so this is nothing but the official website sir from this you can choose any programming language of course we will have our own tool but let me see some basics from this sir if you want to do the program in c let us open c editor sir here we have to type the program just click on execute button whatever messages are there here it will read and it will understand and it will display the output suppose if your program requires any input you have to supply from here don't worry today i will give that example also sir let me click on execute button the code is executing and we got output here this is nothing but how you can execute c program sir i want to execute c++ program already the program i have taken write a c++ program to print welcome to c++ on the screen sir ash include for this one stream you have to include what is that stream sir i o stream okay and uh, c out welcome to c++ programming just if you click execute what will happen the code is going to be executed sir similar to this uh, i want to take it in java also sir how you can able to solve this problem in java just copy this code and you have to paste here of course maybe i am expecting you have at least minimum knowledge in java sir public class what is the class name that i have taken demo public static void main this is the syntax of main method in java of course we are going to discuss this one also in one special class okay sir system dot out dot print ln of we have welcome to java is there just if you click on execute button sir what happens it will print that welcome to java on the screen right sir next i want to go with my phone my favorite programming language which is nothing but python sir in python it is very simple just we have to write only single line code sir main method all these nonsense are not required because it is the very easiest programming language in the entire world okay sir if you are writing any instructions in python definitely you will get interest to learn that programming language itself that much efficiency sir will be there in our python even sir in our lbp 1 and 2 almost 50% students got converted to my python batch okay trust me really it it happened okay so that much easiness will be there in python okay sir this is nothing but so how to print a messages on the screen by using various programming languages sir up to this okay but i want to read the input from the user sir how you can able to read if you want to read any data from the user sir we have to go for which statements sir input statements in c language how you can able to read input for that we have scanf function is there we have to take a format specifier plus variable names of course i will take a syntax don't worry sir c sorry c++ in c++ sir we have c in is there directly you can take variable name it will read that data sir what about java in java it is very difficult sir we have to go with uh, scanner class uh, and its methods sir what methods are there scanner obj is equal to new scanner new scanner of uh, sir system dot in sir scanner will scan the data sir system dot in means what it is going to read the data from input device sir you can pass even a string also in this case it will read the data from string 
if you want you can pass a file also it will read the data from file but uh, if you want to accept the information we have various methods are there i will explain one or two methods sir if i want to access integer value sir we have to use next int sir we have to use any variable name is equal to next int which is used to read integer value if you want to read float value just change in the place of int to float if you want to read double you have to read double if you want to read uh, the entire string then we have to go for next line like this we have various methods are they using that we can able to read the data sir once if you go to the programming then definitely you will get much clarity about these things don't worry at all okay and sir in python how you can able to read the value very simple sir for this we have input function is there and also sir type casting functions are there using this input and type casting functions we can read the data now i will take one two programs for you people to understand what is the first program is nothing but write a program sir to read uh, two numbers okay or let me take to read uh, three integer numbers two three integer values uh, and perform addition addition operation in c language first program sir in c++ second program in java third program in python fourth program like this i want to do sir already editors are there let me implement this code first i want to solve this problem in c language sir already editor is there right yes sir sir what is our requirement sir we have to take this just a small change sir integer how many variables they told three variables a b c and we have to declare sum so scan f percentage d percentage d percentage d percentage d is used to read an integer value then sir ampersand a comma ampersand b comma ampersand c which is used to read three numbers now sum is equal to we have to calculate sum right sum is equal to a plus b plus c then we have to print that result right sir for that print f percentage d comma sum that's all now this program is expecting three values we have to supply these three values here let me take triple one triple two triple three is the value now click on execute button it will take these three values it performs a sum and it will print the result what output you got triple six is is it a sum of these three numbers or not yes this is the way how you can able to solve in c language sir java whatever i explained uh, in the last session and today's session if you have this knowledge sir happily you can learn programming also no problem at all now i am going for c++ sir same scenario right but let me change the variable name x y z and let me take uh, some variable sir c in directly you can take x y z no need to take any percentage this all these things sum is equal to x plus y plus z and c out directly i am printing the value of sum sir let me supply here i am giving 10 20 30 let me execute sir what happens 60 is nothing but my result sir it is providing the proper result excellent now let me go with uh, next example which is nothing but i want to implement in java sir i told already in java sir we have to implement yeah sushant please wait we will see those kind of scenarios also in our upcoming sessions okay i know <laughs> why you are asking this question so maybe you have faced some problem while reading the integer data and string right that's why you are asking don't worry we have such a type of scenario how you can read i will explain so there is one problem is there to check date of birth yeah yeah i know definitely sushant i told right 
so whatever you are facing in the real time same you after learning this course you will feel very free sir i am happy to share that uh, so many lbp previous batch students are luckily so they are enjoying my sessions like anything i think my previous batch students also there in this session i think one or two members anyone any old student please confirm so that you will give some guidance to our uh, new students any old student somewhere i have seen no okay no issues yesterday it seems one of my previous batch student attended for demo yeah gaurav yes sir please confirm any my old students are there please confirm mm. yesterday you have faced this problem no worries shushant don't worry i will give a conclusion for this in our upcoming sessions okay yeah sir let me take uh, java let me take java sir here we need to solve we need to solve first what we have to do scanner class we have to take scanner obj is equal to new scanner of uh, sir system dot in i am taking input but if you want to work with the scanner class we have to import one package which is nothing but util okay yeah very good correct now sir integer a is equal to obj dot next int similarly integer b is equal to obj dot next int sir similarly integer c is equal to obj dot next int like this we have sir now you need to calculate a sum right so i am declaring integer sum is equal to a plus b plus c that's all yeah one minute sir please wait yeah sir we need to supply the input assume i am giving sir 1 2 what a sum we have to get 7 right yes 7 is nothing but my output yes perfectly it is working sir in python how you can able to solve this problem in python how you can able to solve this problem sir i told already python is the very easiest programming language sir i will explain two versions for you sir what is the first version okay what is the first version sir first version is nothing but i can say sir beginner version beginner level coding okay sir what is the second version is nothing but do you know expert expert level expert level like us right <laughs> expert means all we are are nothing but experts only sir let me solve this problem so i am taking x is equal to int of input sir first input i am taking y is equal to sir int of input second input i am taking z is equal to sir int of input third input i am taking sir sum is equal to x plus y plus z print the value of sum have you observed anywhere am i using semicolon no sir now first input is 10 second input is 20 third input is 30 we are going to get 50 as sorry 60 as the result but make sure that uh, in this case we have to pass the inputs only line by line sir what happens if you pass a separated by spaces it won't accept sir there are some issues are there i will discuss all these things later but a single line code how you can take if it is the case sir we can take like this in a single line assume i am passing the values like 101 sir 201 301 like this now observe sir input is there it is reading the entire line it is reading this entire line from this line 
i want to split the data based on spaces sir dot split sir it is splitting the data based on space sir int of i please convert each i value in the input please convert each i value in the input now let me take print function sir you can see whatever inputs you have given you got those inputs in the form of list right sir in python for calculating some of the elements in the list uh, we have some function is there sir directly it will return the result see how beautiful it is a single line code is sufficient for solving these problems not only this problem sir in majority of our lbp code almost 10% or 15% of the programs will be only single line code only okay sir hope it is very clear for you people sir do you have any doubts up to this please confirm yes now you can ask all your queries if you have yeah sir in python input function is going to read the input from the user whatever input is there sir i am splitting based on spaces i am splitting based on spaces once if the data is accepted from the spaces we have some inputs are there from that i am selecting each and every value and i am converting into integer and i am placing in the list so that what will happen whatever inputs you have given i am storing that inputs in a list format now sir what we can use sum of that list it will take uh, this elements in the list and it will perform sum that's all yeah uh, yeah it is something like a for loop yes of course don't worry sir in further sessions we will discuss in detail about this don't worry sir any doubts up to this yes please confirm i request everyone to respond any doubts up to this yes sir that's all about introduction part sir let me go with uh, uh, what you can call the programs one by one sir shall we start the first program please confirm shall we start the first program please confirm yes sir let me take the first program in our lpp sessions okay we will try to solve that problem okay yes sir this is nothing but the first problem what we have sir program to check whether the given number is even number or odd number sir what is the input for this program sir an integer number n what is the cons constraint for this that number should be greater than or equal to zero suppose if you are passing any negative number what we have to do sir sir you have to check the condition and you need to print the message saying invalid sir for this i will explain the logic with the help of diagram for maximum for every problem we will see the diagrams okay maybe in my previous batches i have not covered that much diagrams but in this batch maximum for every problem we will see the diagrams okay but maybe one or two problems is not required diagrams because if i am taking sum of uh, digits in the given number in the given number for this i will explain with the help of diagram sir if you are getting sum of even digits similarly sum of sum of odd digits for those things i won't explain any diagram sir because the logic is the same right that's why sir now let me go with the uh, example okay first we will explain the logic then you can able to understand very clearly sir now i will copy paste this statement so that you people will get some idea sir program to check whether the given number is a even or odd number what is the first requirement sir we have to read a number from the user and we need to print whether it is even or odd sir what is the output statement sir it should be either even or it should be either odd or it should be invalid any three answers you have to get right so 
input is nothing but an integer number n sir i will write the logic first in red color so that you people will get some idea so just in your understandable manner i am going to write listen carefully sir what is the first step sir we have to read n value from the user we have to read n value from the user now what is your next step what is your next step your next step is nothing but you have to check whether if the value of n is greater than or equal to 0 or not if it is greater than or equal to 0 sir we have to write our code here we have to write our code here sir what is that code we will write later suppose if it is not correct if n value is not greater than 0 then you need to go with else sir what is the meaning of this if and else you know very well so if uh, whatever constraint you are giving if it is satisfied it will execute these instructions if it is not satisfied it will go to else in the else if it is the c language sir we have to print the message saying invalid sir if it is a c plus plus sir you have to print the message saying invalid if it is java sir system dot out dot print ln of sir you have to print invalid just for your example sake i am telling sir please try to understand my intention okay then sir in python how you can able to print sir print of valid but don't take sorry invalid don't take all these things you have to select any one okay sir what about this one what about this one very simple here you need to apply sir one more logic here we have to apply one more logic which is nothing but heart of this program sir what is that logic let me take here we accepted the n value right now sir how you can able to check whether it is even number or odd number sir if you divide that number with two and if it is give, giving reminder as a zero then you can print the message saying even just consolidated print statement i am taking sir else if it is not divisible sir we have to print the message saying odd sir beyond that nothing is there here okay sir let me take one example and then i will explain for you people sir consider the value of n they are giving five sir five is it greater than or equal to zero or not yes sir it is greater than or equal to zero then it is going to verify whether n percentage two is equal to zero or not yes n percentage two sir five percentage two if you divide five with two sir what will happen sir two two are four reminder which you are going to get is nothing but one which is not equal to zero which is not equal to zero condition is fail if condition is fail it will print odd let me take a six sir what will happen if you divide six with two sir two threes are six right what is the reminder zero condition satisfied it will print even assume i am giving minus a seven sir first condition itself false then what will happen it will print invalid like this this algorithm is going to work i hope uh, once if you if you inject this algorithm into your mind then sir implementation is nothing if you know c you have to write the instructions in c if you know java you can write it in java if you know in python you can write it in python sir trust me if you attend these sessions you will get all the three languages basics up to rs okay sir clear up to this any doubts on this logic explanation please confirm sir yeah c plus uh, plus we are not actually the time is not sufficient you can try by your own okay yeah sir we are going to create our new batch running notes also sir what is the running notes also yeah yeah so running notes name is nothing but lbp5 sir lbp5 will be there okay so uh, this lbp5 you are going to get in the form of google drive okay and i am going to save all your documents into that okay sir this diagram also will be there in that lbp5 so i am going to save this file as a lbp1 dot image so this will be shared for you even at the time of uh, 
uh, what you can call verification it will be very helpful for you people okay yeah yeah tomorrow we will see that code so because time up right so tomorrow yeah 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 <laughs> please wait up to tomorrow tomorrow i will solve this problem in our hacker rank sir tomorrow we will see so these uh, problem statement explanation one more time i will give and then we will uh, implement in c sir in c++ also we will implement in java also we will implement and in python all these four languages i will implement for first program but from second program onwards i will take the implementation only in c java and then python okay sir please don't don't forget to register for this course so i request everyone to please register as early as possible sir that's all about today's session tomorrow also same link will be there okay sir thank you thank you so much for your uh, valuable time thank you guys good night good evening friends in the last video sir uh, we discussed about the introduction to this course what is this course and what is the course content what benefits you are going to get from this course okay and uh, what daily activities we are going to do in this lbp like uh, so how to read the problem statement and how to divide the problem into individual things and how you can provide implementation in c language in java in python like that we have seen various levels of activities how to submit the program sir how to get a final approval so whether all test cases are passed or not how you can able to get sir all these things how you can able to do i explained in the last video then as a part of introduction as a part of introduction to every programming language sir if i want to solve the problem in c language definitely i should know what is the input how you can able to accept input from the user and how you can able to display output on the screen definitely it is required right so for that purpose what output statements we have in various programming languages sir you can see in c language we have printf statement is there which is used to print a message on the screen similarly in c++ we have c out is there which is used to print a message on the screen similarly in java sir do you know in java there are three types of print formats are there like uh, system dot out dot print of welcome system dot out dot print ln of welcome system dot out dot print f of welcome three kind of uh, formats are there sir any format we can choose okay similarly in python sir we have only one function is there with the print of course there are 10 formats are there for printf sir i told in the last session itself sir we have beautiful print function which is there in all the languages means python statement python output statements are nothing but very beautiful because we have so many uh, flexibilities are there just to have a look once i will show you that python io statements one minute so because in python running nodes it was there one minute sir one minute please wait yes sir the only one output statement which we have in python is nothing but print okay sir how many functions are there have you observed form one sir print of string similarly print of object we can print object also similarly sir we can print empty line by using print function all these things we will use in our uh, lbp classes sir 
sir print of you can print multiple objects also sir you can print multiple objects with scp attribute sir while printing space separation i am getting sir i don't want space i want hyphen i want comma yes no problem we can go with which attribute sir scp attribute similarly end attribute is there sir if you print a b c d line by line we will get sir i want in the same line then we can go with end attribute sir all these things we will use in our regular sessions sir object plus string both the combination you can print suppose addition of triple one and triple two is equal to triple three where obj one is this one obj two is this one obj three is this one so in the place of constants i will take within double quotations in the place of obj we will take that object then sir print with legacy c language style sir you can implement in c language format also sir addition of percentage d and percentage d is equal to percentage d in the place of percentage what values we have to include that part also we have sir even print with replacement operator sir there is a empty flower bracket is there or with some values we can provide dot format function we have to use similarly last one sir print with formatted string also there directly you can print f of addition of a and b is equal to a plus b sir if you use f here what will happen it will substitute the values with the, the given positions like this beautiful print function which we have in python is nothing but print function so the many forms many forms are there okay which is something like overloaded function okay then sir i explained very clearly how to print a message on the screen by using various programming languages and even sir in the last video i explained how to read input from the user sir how you can able to read input from the user by using sir c language we can use a scanf statement in c++ we can use a cin in java we can use a scanner class okay sir for that i have given demonstration in the last video by taking two values from the user and performing sorry three values from the user and performing addition operation whatever result we got sir how to print on the screen also i explained very clearly sir then even how to read three integer values and how you can perform addition operation in c++ also i explained very clearly in the last video sir similar to this how you can do in java how you can able to do in python sir in python i explained in two versions right what is the first version sir a kilometers code we have to take here okay but the second version we have python is there for length for reducing the length of the code sir single line code we can write for solving this problem excellent now after completion of this i demonstrated clearly sir how you can able to solve this problem first problem sir with the help of logic i explained in the last video sir uh, diagram also i have given right this is nothing but a diagram what we have explained have you observed what is the first program to check whether the given number is even or odd number sir we have to find whether it is even or odd sir which algorithm we have to follow the, for this sir i explained very clearly now our requirement is nothing but we have to convert this into okay we have to convert this into sir meaningful code that is a c language implementation python implementation sir c++ implementation java implementation sir we have to solve now sir please confirm sir up to this do you have any doubts please confirm yes please confirm up to this do you have any doubts i request everyone to please respond yeah and i think uh,
yeah please wait sir one minute Sir, I, I shared mail ID in the chat window. So please make your payment and please give confirmation to that mail ID, sir. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Sir, this is nothing but what we have seen in the last video. Now, sir, let me go with the first two program, sir. I want to implement this problem in C language. I want to implement this code in C language. Sir, for solving in C language, I will go to the previous batch, okay, the previous batch LBP programs I am taking, but for our batch, I will create a new link and I will share with you. Don't worry. That will be happened in, in a couple of days, okay. Sir, here, what is the problem, sir, here, LBP1, program to check whether the given number is a even number or odd number. What is the input here? A number n we have to supply. And the value of n must be greater than or equal to 0. Sir, output should be either even or odd or invalid. So they have given some sample test cases also. Sir, before typing the program, so you have to check whether these inputs and sample inputs and sample outputs are working properly with the logic what we have implemented. So then only you have to enter into the program because first of all these conditions has to be satisfied right so 12 is a even number according to the logic it will print even only and 13 is the odd number according to the logic it will print odd only sir now what we have to do yes sir i want to go for c language code sir skeleton will be there as it is just you have to fill that empty code beyond that nothing is there sir what is the first step integer n because we need to read the number that's all. No other inputs are required. And I told how to read the input. Sir, maybe in your academics, you have seen combination of printf and uh, scanf. But here, we should not go for that. We have to use only scanf because directly in the input, you can see only number is there. So extra message is not there. That's why, sir, scanf percentage d comma ampersand n. Sir, I accepted the value and I stored in n. Now, Sir, you have to do all the operations if n is greater than or equal to 0. Suppose if n is not greater than or equal to 0, you need to print invalid, right? That's why in the false case, I am printing invalid. Sir, my value, value is greater than 0. Then you need to write one more condition. I already explained in the diagram. What is that condition? n percentage 2 is equal to 0. Boss, n percentage 2 double equal to 0. Sir, if true, what will happen? Sir, we need to print the number even message called even. Now, if the condition is not satisfied, then we have to print odd. Sir, first we have to check uh, is there any error in the program. Okay. And uh, is all these sample test cases are working properly or not? Sir, there is one small mistake is there in the program. First, let me click on run and then I will show you. Sir, if you run, what will happen? Sir, test case 0, test case 1 are not satisfied. Sir, why sir? What is the problem? Sir, have you observed? My input is even, expected output is also even. 
sir you have taken e in the capital letter but in the expected format they have given e in the small letter sir that modifications also very very important in the coding domain okay that's why better to change this to small e and change this to small o now let me run the code sir is it going to work or not definitely and uh, both the test cases are passed sir now what we have to do you need to submit the code once if you submit it will test uh, against all the hidden test cases which i have given sir you can see the submission few seconds ago the score is nothing but 1.0 the status is accepted sir tick mark means what all the test cases are passed now what we have to do just copy the submitted code and paste in our running notes it will be very helpful for you to refer right this is nothing but c language implementation sir i am going for java implementation how you can able to solve in java so what we have to do sir go, go to problem now onwards happily you can solve because we know the logic right sir now so if you want to read the data by using uh, java language means we have to create object for one class sir could you please confirm to which class we have to create object to read the numbers from the user please confirm sir i forgot whatever i explained in the last class i forgot please confirm by using which class we have to read please confirm sir very good excellent sir we have to use scanner class sir scanner obj is equal to new scanner i am taking within bracket sir system dot in now sir using this we can able to read the input sir how many inputs we are reading only one integer n is equal to obj dot next int sir perfect perfect okay now sir i want to run this i want to run this sir how you can able to run this program sir very simple sir just to, we have to check the condition so if n value is greater than or equal to 0 we have to do some operations else sir these curly braces are optional in programming languages these are curly brackets that means the flower brackets are optional in the programming languages sir when we have to use the curly brackets means uh, when you are having more than one statement then only we have to go for curly braces but if you are having more than one statement means curly braces if you are not having more than one statement don't go for curly brackets just directly also you can take that facility we have sir system dot out dot print ln of i need to print the message saying invalid sir here if n percentage 2 is equal to 0 only one statement right sir i am printing directly system dot out dot print ln of even okay else if the condition is not satisfied system dot out dot print ln of odd let me run the code correct and let us submit the code sir all the test cases are cleared sir someone is asking for a scanner which package is used i told already in the last video akshay so for the scanner class which package we have to import sir util package util package sir which is there in util package by default it is imported and uh, one more person is asking sir what happens if we take if, if you are not taking n greater than or equal to zero what will happen sir some test cases may be fails some test cases may be fails see i am removing this okay i am removing this let us check what will happen so i am i am putting in a comment okay all these things sir i am taking in a comment let us see what will happen okay let me run the code sir sample test cases will will work sir but uh, when you submit the code sir see what happens are one test case is not passing why because why because that your score is 0 0.75 status is wrong answer sir why what is the reason 
have you observed maybe in the test case 3 i have given the input in negative manner so it is expecting invalid but you didn't provided any solution for this have you observed fine very good sir this is nothing but uh, how you can able to think and how you have to write sir all these uh, are just for basics purposes sir but uh, every constraint which you have given in the problem statement is very very important every constraint is very very important sir okay sir before starting the problem before implementing the logic first we have to see the constraints because without constraints nothing is possible right so that is main agenda please please make sure in that area sir fine i want to go for python implementation sir as i promised you so i will i will take two implementations in python for first few programs then we will take only the easiest way sir what is the first version sir what is the first version the version which i explained in the diagram same thing i will take in python same thing i will take in python okay sir what is that n is equal to int of input we have to read one input from the user then if the value of n is greater than or equal to 0 sir in python we don't have flower brackets concept is not there it is replaced with indentation concept remember carefully the people who know python they can understand this program very well remaining people better to learn python okay sir indentation is there after this if n percentage 2 is equal to 0 again indentation i am printing the message called even else i am printing the message called odd okay sir if first if condition is not satisfied sir please print the message saying invalid like this we have to print let me run the code no no no, no. it is it is not possible to share uh, python notes you have to join no 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 you have to join okay please yeah basics i will provide don't worry so let me submit the code yes all the test cases are working sir no problem sir this is nothing but what we have in first version sir in shortest way how you can able to do sir very simple observe carefully how i am going to do in a simple manner sir i am opening this uh, in python editor itself uh, sir do you know int of input sir observe my words int of input whatever input i accepted sir i'm i'm going to store it in a variable called n n is equal to like this okay fine okay fine then sir i want to print invalid i want to print invalid when sir if uh, n is greater than if n is uh, less than zero sir if the value of n is less than zero print invalid else else sir again i am taking one more condition sir print even if uh, n percentage 2 okay is equal to 0 sir else print odd that's all this entire thing we have to take uh, within single print statement that's all beyond that nothing is there sir let me run is it working properly or not perfect let us submit the code the shortest code what we have right this is nothing but how you can able to solve this problem sir hope it is very clear for you people sir do you have any doubts friends up to this yes please confirm ask all your doubts sir again i am repeating from the next so we are going to see so many times even number odd number situation immediately in your mind you need to get this logic sir sir sorry is talking about even number divide that number with percentage 2 if you are getting reminder as a 0 then it is even number if you are not getting reminder as a 0 then it is odd number sir it should be injected into your mind so because uh, so many times we are going to see this even number odd number situations okay uh, why there is a int before input alok alok yadav see in python input function will always accept the data in the form of string sir so to convert that into integer i used integer function 
क्लियर yes i am requesting every student to please respond up to this do you have any doubt sir very good sir what is the next thing that we have here is uh, sir we need to go for the next one lbp number 2 uh, lbp number 2 sir as usual i will explain the problem statement so implementation we will see in the next class because up to demo sir slowly we will move and uh, some people are there to join right that's why so what is the second problem that we have here okay what is a second problem that we have here sir it is it is it is the problem sir which was asked in one of the company and it is there in hacker rank also sir you can see this is the problem statement lbp number 2 sir uh, do you know based on this uh, sir there are n number of problems are there there are n number of problems are there sir i will share you those problems also sir don't worry uh, don't worry okay sir maybe in our in our uh, regular sessions also i will share in which company we have asked this kind of problems all these things okay now sir what is one minute one minute yeah do you want to see in which which uh, i mean this kind of uh, program please confirm do you want to see this kind of program sir which is asked in the interview please confirm yeah wait for 1 minute i will show you
yeah one minute sir i am searching one minute yeah so one minute what is the reason why oh so many messages which course yeah yeah so so just i will i will show you sir how this uh, kind of program you are going to get okay sir in the real time how you are going to get these type of programs just i want to uh, share you one simple screen sir please confirm is my screen is visible is my screen is visible yes sir please concentrate here this was the question which was asked in the previous interview sir have a look once sir just time i am see you can you can see the screenshot of that question okay have a look once sir video share is an online video sharing okay video share is an online video sharing platform the company has decided to rate its users channels based on the sum of total number of views received online and the subscribers this sum total is referred to as user points the rating will be given according to the below charts sir user points 30 to 50 means average 51 to 60 means good 61 to 80 means excellent 81 to 100 means outstanding the whole process is automated and uh, sir it is carried out by a company's system we have to develop an application for this purpose right like that they will ask in the interviews sir so you have to code it for that okay sir is it is it this kind of problem or not sir given an integer n perform the following conditional actions if n is odd print wide if n is even and in the inclusive range of 2 to 5 sir print not wired if n is even and the inclusive range of 6 to 20 sir print wired if n is even and greater than 20 print not wired okay sir we have to read a number from the user that number must be always one less than or equal to n less than or equal to 100 then what we have to do sir you need to take okay you need to take uh, wired or not that message we have to take sir is this problem is similar to that or not please confirm is that problem is similar to this one or not please confirm and you can see one more problem sir same related to that have you observed 
the e-commerce company bookshelf wishes to analyze its monthly sales data between the minimum range 30 to the maximum range 100 the company has categorized these book sales into four groups depending on the number of sales with the help of these groups the company will know which stock they should increase or decrease in their inventory for the next month so the groups are as follows write an algorithm to find the group for the given book sale sir it is similar to that yes of course have you observed these kind of questions if you are getting in an interview sir you are the luckiest person because you have joined in this lbp course immediately you can solve with all test cases sir trust me these kind of problems around five we have in our sessions five programs are there but uh, i know the company name also that company people every time they are asking this question just by changing the sentences okay sir hope if you are attending to that particular company definitely at least for 100 members minimum two to three members will get this question okay sir trust me it is a fact okay sir any doubts up to this please confirm <laughs> someone is asking sir please tell me that company name no i won't reveal now because it is the demo session right so in our regular batch i will include that uh, company name don't worry that's why i have removed that uh, top top things uh, in our screenshot have you observed i mailed that screenshot to uh, my mail id and then i have displayed just i cut at the top level okay because so it is a demo session we should not reveal policies yeah sir when we will share a hacker rank link yeah sir i created already hacker rank link okay i added almost 10 programs also but uh, once if the payments all these things completed once if it is regularized then we will uh, release okay don't worry from that you can practice okay yes sir that's all about uh, today's session okay so we will meet for the continuation tomorrow if anyone is having doubts yes you can post it on chat window and those who have uh, not received the payment links all these things sir i am pasting on your chat window sir you can verify and please take the screenshots and send all your payment details everything to durgasoft online at gmail.com okay yeah if you are having any queries yes please ping me Good evening, friends. In the last video, sir, we started logic-based programming, a new batch, right? 
sir the duration of this particular course is nothing but 3 months duration we have and the programs are nothing but 350 programs uh, we are going to cover as a part of this course and these timings are nothing but uh, 8 30 pm to 9 30 pm daily we have a session from monday to monday to friday okay and the fees for this is nothing but 1500 and for any registration all these details you can contact to 8096 969696 okay and uh, sir what activities we are doing daily sir we are going to see the problem statement clearly and we will divide the entire problem into pieces sir if you have a big problem then we are going to provide implementation in C language and we will implement uh, the same program in Java and we will implement the same program in Python. In all the languages, we are going to provide implementation, sir. Then, sir, after completion of this, we are going to run the program for any compilation errors or runtime errors. If everything is uh, clear, we can submit the program. Once if you submit, all the test cases will be passed and we are going to get how many points, sir? One point. Okay. This is nothing but what is our daily activity which we are going to do. And what are the output statements that we have? Sir, I covered very clearly. Total, how many output statements are there, sir? So these are nothing but uh, in C language, we have printf statement is there. Sir, in C++, we have C out statement is there. So in Java, we have three formats are there like uh, system.out.print, system.out.println, system.out.printf. Like in three formats, it is going to provide support. Sir, similarly, in Python, we have print function. Related to this, sir, I covered already some example programs. If you are, if you are unable to uh, view these things, yes, you can refer our YouTube channel in that it is already there. Okay, you can refer those three videos. Next and after that, sir, what are the input statements? Suppose if I want to read any data from the user, Sir, in C language, how you can able to read? In C++, how to read the data? In Java, how to read the data? And in Python, how you can able to read the data? Sir, all these things we are going to discuss. So, I mean, we discussed already how you can able to accept the input from the user. Sir, for this, we have taken a simple program to read three values from the user and perform addition operation on those three values sir by using so see how you can implement by using c++ how you can implement sir by using java how you can implement and by using python how you can implement all these things i explained in the last video so sir then we have started the first logic based programming which is nothing but a program to check whether the given number is even number or odd number and the input we have to supply as an integer and the constraint is nothing but the value of n must be greater than or equal to zero and the output what we have is either we can print even or odd or invalid so if the number is greater than or equal to zero then we have to calculate whether it is even or odd if it is not greater than or equal to zero we have to print invalid sir these things uh, i already demonstrated for you people right sir now so we have implemented this program in c language and even i explained this program in java and even we have seen this program in python also sir all these things we covered very clearly in the last video now in today's session we have to go for lbp2 second problem we are going to discuss sir up to this do you have any doubts friends please confirm up to this do you have any doubts please confirm clear right Nikhil, is it your first class? Nikhil, 
is it your first class yeah see once if you see the problems you will get it for that there is no separate procedure nikhil we don't have any procedure for that just we have to go with the flow okay now sir let me go for second problem sir okay sir what is the second problem that we have here sir you can able to view he one minute yes sir this is nothing but the problem statement lbp number 2 sir let us solve this problem today okay sir what is this problem you can able to see from here sir uh, we have something like this given an integer n sir they have given one integer value called n so for this n we have to perform the following conditional actions sir if n is a odd one category sir if n is even another category is there okay sir first we have to check whether it is odd or not sir because we know already right how you can able to check whether it is odd or not sir n percentage 2 is double equal to 0 means even sir if n percentage 2 is not equal to 0 means odd right sir we should not take this condition we have to take this condition for this problem okay sir once if it is clear then we have to print a message called wired otherwise n is a even number in that there are multiple cases are there if it is in the inclusive range of 2 to 5 we have to print not wired if it is in the inclusive range of 6 to 20 then we have to print wired sir if it is greater than 20 we have to print not wired have you observed three constraints are there inside this if condition okay so inside this if condition we have three conditions are there sir output must be either wired or not wired and the input value must be within this range now sir i will write the algorithm observe very clearly what is the first step sir sir first we have to check uh, whether the value of n is greater than or equal to 1 and the value of n is less than or equal to 100 or not because primary conditions which is there in our uh, uh, constraint part right sir once if it is clear then sir what we have to do sir you need to check uh, sir whether the number which we have given is odd number or not okay so for that i am checking one condition here sir if uh, n percentage 2 is not equal to 0 sir then it is odd number right sir if it is odd number directly they are telling sir we need to print some message okay we have to print some message what is that message print sir we need to print the message called uh, sir wired like this else sir if it is not the case then sir we have to write a few more conditions here we have to write a few more conditions what is that condition sir if uh, n value is greater than or equal to 2 and n value is less than or equal to 5 then we need to print the message called uh, sir not wired okay sir we have to print the message called not wired then sir if else if suppose if the first condition is not satisfied then i am checking if the value of n is greater than or equal to 6 and the value of n is less than or equal to 20 if it is in this range then we need to print the message called wired okay sir else else sir we have to print the message directly we can print the message saying not wired right sir this is nothing but what we have sir once if everything is completed that's all our task is finished that's all sir first outermost condition is there then innermost condition is there sir based on that we have to print sir if all these conditions are satisfied that's all sir our program is going to execute successfully this is nothing but the heart of this program sir is the logic is clear sir please confirm friends so that we can go for implementation i request everyone to respond is the logic is clear friends
yes <coughs> now sir let me go for implementation i want to implement this problem sir if you want to implement a problem compulsory we have to go for hacker rank link right so i am opening the previous batch hacker rank link anyway tomorrow we will create the link okay don't worry sir now which problem we have to solve second problem sir click on open in a new tab this is nothing but the problem statement what we have right sir already i explained this given an integer n and perform the following conditional actions sir all these things already we discussed just we have to provide implementation sir have you observed for our diagram sir is this test cases are passing or not we need to cross check right sir what is the first input here we have sir 3 is nothing but the first input what we have okay sir for this we need to print void for 24 sir we have to print not void okay sir let me see how you can able to run this one minute yeah uh, mohad ahmed please switch off your video now sir let us see here so if the input is 3 is it in which category sir first of all is it even number or odd number sir it is the odd number so we will get void okay we are going to get void right yes perfect now if n is equal to 24 if n is equal to 24 it is odd even number so it comes to this category in this category sir is that number is lies between which range sir it is greater than 20 that means we have to print not void yes perfect so now we have to provide implementation let me select c language what is the first activity we have to declare a variable which is nothing but n sir we have to read this n value from the user okay we have to read this n value from the user sir after accepting n scan f i am taking percentage d comma i am present n sir we are reading the value of n once if the value of n is accepted what is the primary condition sir if the value of n is sir greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 1 what is the next condition sir and the value of n should be less than or equal to 100 sir inside this we have to write our logic what is the logic sir if uh, n percentage 2 is not equal to 0 i told in the last video suppose uh, inside if condition if you are taking only one statement remember carefully inside if condition if you are taking only one statement curly braces are not required so inside if condition if you are taking any statement sir curly braces are not required now directly i am using printf statement uh, sir which message we have to print uh, sir we need to print void like this sir w i think capital or small yes capital only fine suppose if this condition is not satisfied then we need to take a bulk of statements a bunch of statements that's why sir i am taking curly brackets so inside this we have to take sir what is the thing that we need to take here sir again one if condition whether that value is uh, greater than or equal to 30 sir and that value is uh, less than or equal to uh, what you can say less than or equal to sorry not 30 sir greater than or equal to 2 sir and uh, it should be less than or equal to 5 sir if it is the case we need to print the message saying sir not void perfect sir else if one more condition you need to take sir if it is in between 2 to 5 it is okay suppose if it is in between sir 6 to 220 in between 6 and uh, in between 20 then what we have to do sir you need to print a message saying sir wired 
else if the condition is not satisfied we have only one option sir we have to print not void no need to take the condition because if it is the last statement sir what is the need for taking condition right now let me run the code sir is it working or not yes sir you can see both the test cases are successfully passed now you have to click on submit button for final approval sir is it working for the final test cases or not we have to check sir have you observed all the final test cases are clear this is nothing but how you can implement in c language sir sir for this given problem statement c language implementation is nothing but like this we have right now i want to go for java implementation sir the algorithm is the same but the way of implementation is going to change sir let me select java let me select java sir i am taking scanner scanner obj is equal to sir i am taking new scanner of sir within bracket sir i am taking system dot in which is used to read input from the user which is used to read input from the user sir which value we have to read n value sir i am taking obj dot next int we have to read obj dot next int sir once if it is accepted then what we have to do sir as usual we have to check the condition whether your n value is greater than or equal to 1 and is it uh, sorry not and sir is it less than or equal to 100 or not primary condition which is there in our constraint sir once if it is satisfied what is your next duty you need to check whether it is odd number or not if n is not equal to 0 it is odd number sir we know how to print the message sir we have to take sop system dot out dot println i am printing the message saying sir wired else if it is not the case we have bunch of statements are there again i am checking whether it is greater than or equal to 2 and is it less than or equal to 5 or not if it is the true i will print the message saying sir not wired else if n is greater than or equal to 6 sir and n is less than or equal to 20 sir then what we have to take sir system dot out dot print ln of we need to print the message called wired else if all these conditions are not satisfied sir system dot out dot print ln of sir i am taking not wired like this we have to print sir beyond that nothing is there let me check whether it is working or not sir both the test cases are passed or not yes both the test cases are passed successfully and let us submit the code for final approval yes it is going to be submitted sir you can see all the test cases are passed here this is nothing but sir how you can able to provide implementation in java let me select python programming sir i want to implement this code in python let us see sir how to provide implementation for python sir how to solve this just to go for python n is equal to int of input we have to take i told already input function will always accept the data in the form of string especially python input function will always accept the data in the form of string sir we have to convert that particular string into integer format because we are working with numbers suppose if you want to work with a floating point you should convert that into floating point sir if you are working with any other type of data yes language compatible sir functions will be there so based on that type casting functions sir you need to do the conversions okay sir next and after that what is your next requirement sir sir we need to check whether it is having the primary conditions or not but here we have and and operator is there okay we should not take amb and symbol okay then again indentation is there i told already what is the meaning of uh, indentation okay i clearly explained in the last video now sir if n percentage 2 is not equal to 0 or not 
if it is not equal to zero sir you have to print the message saying fired else sir we have multiple statements are there in this again i need to check whether it is greater than 2 and whether it is less than or equal to 5 if you have in between this sir, sir i want to print the message saying not wired sir elif we don't have else if sir we don't have else if in python we have elif is there sir elif n greater than or equal to 6 and uh, n value is less than or equal to 20 then what we have to print sir we need to print the message saying wired sir else if all the conditions are not satisfied then we have to print which message sir not wired like this you need to print that's all beyond that nothing is there sir i think all the test cases will be cleared right yes let me let me take run run code yes both the test cases are cleared and who is asking that doubt raw input we should not take because we are using which python version python 3 that's why okay let us run the code and the python 2 is almost gone we should not use python 2 okay sir this is nothing but what is this problem statement and how you can able to solve this problem statement sir up to this do you have any doubts sir please confirm yeah any in any style you can do sir imitas that's what i am telling it is a completely on your hand okay you can do in any style whichever you required but finally all our test cases should be passed that is our main constraint you can do in any style clear yeah sir any doubts friends up to this please confirm any doubts friends up to this please confirm yes very good so this is nothing but lbp2 what we have okay lbp2 what we have let us save this image in our desktop we have 8 30 pm is there sir here already some jpg files will be there i think so because lbp1 is there now i am giving the file name as lbp2.jpg right so running notes everything will be available in this particular folder what we have 8 30 pm sir this is nothing but uh, uh, running notes and two image files like whatever programs we are going to cover so if, if the program is very simple then we want to take diagrams so similar programs will be there in that we will take one diagram and we will solve all the problems related to that okay sir this is nothing but what we have so related to the first two problems okay sir that's all about uh, today's session sir we will discuss remaining things in the next video okay good evening friends welcome to durga soft welcome to durga soft online training so we are we are going to start this new batch in online mode okay and myself k prakash babu having 12 years of experience 12 years of experience in various programming languages okay and uh, sir we started a new batch called uh, logic based programming okay logic based programming is nothing but a new batch sir in short form we can call it as lpp logic based programming and we are going to cover 300 plus programs okay we are going to cover 300 plus programs sir in this batch you can expect uh, 350 programs i am going to cover 350 to 400 but 
I will stick on to my word. 350 programs we are going to cover. Even if time permits, more than these programs also we are going to cover. Okay. Sir, I request everyone to please be switch on your video mode. Keshav. Next. Sir, these 300 programs implementation we are going to see in C language, Java and Python. Sir, I will take each and every program and I will explain that program in C language. Even we will discuss this program in Java and even in Python. So in all the programming languages, we are going to discuss the solution for this problem. Every problem. For every problem, we are going to discuss the solution in all these three languages. Okay. Then, sir, next and after that, let me give some inputs regarding the course details. Then we can go for what formalities we are going to learn all these things. Sir, here, the title of the course is nothing but a logic based programming. Sir, this batch is nothing but a fifth batch, sir. Successfully, first batch, second batch, third batch, fourth batch we launched. And this is nothing but a fifth batch. With a huge strength, we started first batches. Okay. Sir, almost all the batches are now in ending. It is about to end at 31st of this month. Okay. Sir, LBP 3 and 4 are running successfully with uh, almost 200 programs. It is running. And we are going to start uh, a regular batch on these timings. LBP 5. Okay. Sir, what is the duration of the course? The duration of the course is nothing but... Uh, Sir, it is three months. The course is nothing but three months, sir. But uh, probably it won't take those many months. But just I am taking, sir, three months course because we need to study each and everything in the program. Sir, don't hesitate. Sir, you have to attend these sessions. Even if not possible, you can view the recordings. Okay. Sir, in this, how many programs we are going to cover? I already told, sir, we are going to cover 350 programs. Minimum, minimum 300, 350 programs will be there. But if time permits, I will extend it to 400 also. But three months won't be required. Within the less time period only, we can able to finish. But if any time permits, then I will cover few more programs for you people. You can expect more programs from my side. Then, sir, what about uh, the timings of this session? Sir, every day session will be there. Okay, every day session will be there. Sir, Saturdays and Sundays maximum sessions won't be there. But if time permits, I will take some extra classes also because some uh, something like sequence of programs will be there. Suppose consider I want to write a program to, to perform operations with arrays like uh, I want to perform insert operation. I want to perform delete operation. Sir, I want to perform update operation. Okay, I want to perform update operation. Like uh, in the insertion, I want to insert at first location. I want to insert at last location. I want to insert at middle location. I want to insert at any position which you have given. Similarly, sir, deletion also same first position, sir, middle position, sir, last position, given location like this. Okay, sir, update based on position, update based on element. Sir, to explain these many programs, minimum, sir, 20 programs will be there based on this, right? To cover all these programs, we will take, uh, sir, one and a half hour, two hours a session on special days like Saturdays and Sundays, sir, to complete that stretch full. It is not related to the subject, sir. I am talking with respect to the continuation so that you people will in a, a good mood that we can cover all the related topics in a single session, okay? Sir, the timings of this course is nothing but uh, 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. This is nothing but, uh, sir, duration, I mean, timings of this course, okay? Yeah, it is a regular batch. It is a regular batch. Sir, we are going to cover daily, daily. So that means Monday, Monday session will be there. Sir, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, probably Saturday and Sundays, okay, we are going to plan irregularly, not daily, okay. Then, 
sir what is the fees for this course sir the fees has been updated the fees is nothing but 1500 rupees is nothing but the fees okay then sir to whom i have to contact if i want to register for this course very simple sir be prepared with your mobile number and email id registered mobile number registered email id and you have to contact 8096969696 and you need to make a payment and confirm this batch and the demo sessions probably 3 days or 4 days will be there today is a 23rd right today and tomorrow we have demo session and saturday sunday we don't have any demo again on 27th onwards our regular classes is going to be started okay this is nothing but about the course details what we have okay yeah sir yeah let, let me let me complete my uh, complete uh, introduction sir then we can ask for this okay please wait don't mind sir next and after that sir what benefits you are going to get from this what benefits you are going to get from this okay sir the benefits is nothing but running notes running notes will be uploaded will be updated on daily basis on daily basis sir you can able to get running notes okay sir i will show you some sample running notes for you people okay uh, i will show you one running notes for you people this is nothing but the running notes this is nothing but the running notes sir where you are going to get uh, uh, like this for every program first program okay sir problem statement will be there input and outputs will be there what logic we have to write for that and how you are going to write the program in c language how you can able to write the program in java sir how you can able to write the program in python in python also if time permits we will see different versions also in how many uh, lines we can write the code is also very very important nowadays right how sharply how efficiently we can write the code sir that also we are going to cover as a part of this one okay sir all these things we are going to cover okay then so like this every problem statement okay with the explanation okay everything i am going to cover sir all these where we have to practice these programs we have hacker rank link is there i hope majority of uh, you people may know about this hacker rank in that website we have created one separate login there you have to do the programs okay so already inputs will be given already expected output is also there just you have to write the program and you need to click on execute button whether your program is satisfying our requirements or not what is my requirement already i have dumped in hacker rank website for that requirement you have to write the program okay sir maybe you have to write a program to read a number and you have to check whether it is even number or odd number okay sir you have to write a program to check whether the given number is even number or odd number for that sir what what requirement you have to write sir you need to create the program you have to create the program that is completely your choice okay sir you have to write the program here sir once if you are writing the program already sir i have created some test cases suppose if the input is nothing but 5 sir you need to print it as a odd number so odd we have to print suppose if they are giving 6 we have to print even like this sir minimum some 7 7 inputs 7 outputs will already dumped sir you have to write the program and you need to okay run this program sir if you run it will verify it will execute against all the test cases and it is going to return 1 point 1 point and 0 sir if you cleared all the test cases you will get one point suppose out of five if you are cleared only four test cases sir you will get 0 0.89 something like that marks okay sir every program is associated with one point so after completion of this course out of 350 sir if you are getting 
300 plus points, then make sure that you, you are perfect in the program. Of course, I will give the logics. I will explain you how you can able to solve. But beyond that, your practice is also required. Sir, don't worry how to run the program in that hacker rank link. I will explain in further session. Okay. Then after running notes, you are going to get video recording also. Video recording also you are going to get. But it is not downloadable. Just you have to view the recording. And the validity, validity is nothing but almost you are going to get, uh, sir, seven months validity. Six to seven months, I think, six months only. Six months validity you are going to get. Okay. This is nothing but what benefit you are going to get. Sir, with this, you are allowed to attend free workshops. Like, uh, why only for logic-based we are started free workshops, sir? What is the reason for this free workshop is nothing but assume, sir, I am explaining a string concept. Almost uh, in this, we have uh, 50 to 60 programs will be there only on strings. But, uh, sir, you should have a minimum knowledge on string data structure, right? So, without using string data structure, we can't solve the problem. Sir, how I can able to solve that string data structure problem, sir? Sir, for that compulsory, you must have a knowledge on strings, right? You must have a knowledge on strings. Sir, for that, we will plan a separate workshop where we are going to talk about uh, sir, some important things which are related to our logic-based programming. Like, uh, sir, what is mean by string? What is mean by string buffer? What is mean by string builder? Sir, what functions are there? How you can able to construct the objects? Sir, how you can able to construct string values? Sir, what functions are there? Equals ignore case means what? Okay, concat method, what it is going to do? Compare to method, what it is going to do? Sir, compare to ignore case starts with, ends with, contains. Sir, all these things we are going to cover as a part of workshop. So, demanding. So, suppose if I am taking these particular uh, string programs in the Monday means I will plan one workshop in the Saturday or Sunday. So you need to attend that free workshop. So that workshop material and that workshop video also will be shared for you. Okay. So that uh, it will be very useful for coming uh, for upcoming sessions so that you can solve the problems very easily. Sir, like this we will have and even some applications also we are going to develop here. See here, one application I developed. What is that application? Sir, every character, first letter you have to do uppercase. So, how to write the program? Here you can see, sir, here, have you observed? Sir, how many characters are there in this string? If length is even, if that word length is even, convert it to uppercase. If the word length is odd, keep as it is. Like this, we need to prepare the applications. Sir, all these things you are going to cover in workshops, not only on string, everything we are going to see. Sir, in that, that video and material will be shared for you people, sir, like normal, normal running notes only, okay? Then, sir, in addition to that, the validity, validity of a hacker rank link, okay, is lifetime, lifetime validity hacker rank link. Maybe tomorrow, if I am starting a new logic-based programming, sir, with uh, definitely not 350 programs, definitely I will cover 400 programs. Sir, that extra 50 programs, by default, it will be added to your hacker rank link, sir, so that you can practice and you can communicate with me through mail or any other electronic media, okay? Sir, this is nothing but what we have, okay? And one more thing, Sir, after completion of this, okay, after completion of this, you can able to crack any coding round, sir. Starting from Wipro, okay, TCS, CTS, sir, any company you can take, sir, easily you can able to crack the interviews. Especially, this course is very beneficial for pre-final years and final years. Sir, those who are entering into the final years and those who are in the final years, okay. For these two category students, definitely this course will be very helpful for you people. Sir, maybe you are attending the placements in your college, right? So at the time, 
immediately one hr is coming and they are giving one problem for you are write a program to check whether the given number is prime number or not sir you have to write the program how you can able to write sir how you can able to think and how you can able to construct that program in various programming languages i am there to guide you and you have to spend some time to practice that okay sir i am giving if you are listening my class for one and a half hour or one hour next day sir listen this video one or two times and you have to practice the programs whatever i discussed maybe at the initial stages i will take three programs four programs per day but later four five programs six programs if you practice these programs then make sure that you will be strong in the programming domain you can able to solve any kind of program sir okay that assurance i can able to give for you people okay this is nothing but our course sir till now i didn't introduce the course syllabus and then i didn't introduce it in which platform we are going to work that part i will take care now itself don't worry sir up to this do you have any doubts yes please let me know all your queries i will answer and you have to post your queries in the chat window please it's time for you to ask all your queries go ahead guys <clears throat> yeah so many queries mostly we are getting time on saturday and sunday sir no sunil it is a regular class if you want you can uh, you can uh, view the recordings but saturday sunday we don't have any class but uh, occasionally we will take sunil and nikhil if some stuck not understand the concept can we talk in hindi uh, <laughs> nikhil i don't know hindi uh, probably we can communicate with english no problem see communication is nothing but just a medium sir finally you have to understand the concept don't worry okay what about video recording sauro yeah we are going to get a video recording also which language will be implemented sir the language is nothing but c java and python okay c++ option is also given for you but based on your requirement if you want you can take otherwise you can ignore sir will the programming language will be taught will you proceed to the programs or do we need to know the programming language before in hand yeah definitely uh, gunashekaran definitely uh, at least one programming language knowledge must be required okay otherwise you can't understand what i am telling see if i am writing if n percentage 2 is equal to 0 and you should not ask what is the t for all these things because you should have a minimum knowledge so it is not a uh, programming language background i mean uh, a programming course it is logic based programming we are concentrating only on programs not on language sir at least one language must be required but make sure that if you know at least one language happily you can get interest to learn remaining languages at the same time if you are above average student you can learn these new languages also from this session that much easiness will be there sir okay i can give the guarantee for that Uh, which language will be implemented yes vishal i told right sir we are going to implement in all the languages anurag pandey no it is not only for fresher anyone those who are uh, to learn programming yes it is useful yes ramkoti yes c java python three languages ahmed dynamic programming all the advanced concepts we are not covering we are at the basic level only okay we are not concentrating even on uh, uh, time complexity space complexity like that just what is their requirement how you can able to solve up to fundas we are going to see okay yeah yeah 10 years no problem rakesh if you are already having an account on hacker rank no issues no 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 same batch only see whether you are experienced candidate or not forget about that you need to learn something okay anurag sir anurag pandey sir when you will python new batch start <laughs> okay i will inform you probably 
uh, in the evening five o'clock we are planning but uh, i will let you know if any batches is there you can uh, view that uh, telegram and uh, youtube there you, there you will get notification of my new batches java batch and python batch soon it is going to start don't worry what about difficulty level dipendra yeah we are going to see e easy problems medium problems higher level problems also we are going to see okay no 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 ashok no alok we are not going for dynamic all these things i already told right yeah alok we are going to see those programs also tuple sets the dictionary all these things but to make sure if demands then only we will introduce those topics otherwise we won't because it is not a programming language right suppose if i want to count the frequency like uh, hello how many times h is repeated how many times e is repeated if it is the case we need to choose one data structure which is nothing but a dictionary then i will pick up the dictionary for that problem and i will explain how it will work but as a separate dictionary topic we won't do sir okay hello kiya i think you got yeah nikhil this is exercises only uh, we are going to practice the exercises i will give 10 or 15 problems advance you can practice and you can come to the next session it is a practice session only we will practice lively we will take a problem we will see what is the input what is their expected output all these things we are going to analyze and then we will prepare algorithm and we are going to write the program everything we are doing manually nikhil yes sunil you can you can start from basics to advanced level nikhil you are going to get videos on daily basis once if the class is completed maybe half an hour or one hour after rendering you can able to get the video no dynamic programming we are not going to cover collections durga prasad yes collections will be there uh, like i told right whenever it is recommended i will take suppose if you take i want to remove the duplicates so in java i can go for one collection like hash set like that so in that case i will introduce but as a separate topic we are not yeah sushil we are not going to cover dynamic programming yeah no problem akshay it will be very helpful for you no worries yeah ahmed we are going to see the difficult programs also this batch is for everyone sir those who want to learn programming this batch will be very helpful not for a fresher or experienced no data structures data structures won't be included here yeah advanced dsa <coughs> yeah yeah definitely i look yeah definitely if time permits we will launch yes probably it will be updated uploaded uh, within the same day itself yes definitely it will be useful for experienced person also experienced people means if you want to move from uh, one organization to another organization where coding is important i want to go for coding domain like i want to build the projects like i want to do coding okay sir debugging like wherever coding is there it is highly recommended to learn this so that you can increase your logical thinking okay yeah gunashekar yes you can join as a beginner you can enjoy these sessions clear i think all your doubts got clarified sir any doubts please confirm if no doubts we can move rakesh we are not going to cover a stack data structure separately 
in my program parenthesis balancing is there for that compulsory we have to take the help of stack there we will introduce stack okay q also we are going to introduce but as a separate topic we won't teach okay logical course for advanced java concepts no sir no sir oops concepts won't be covered in this trig of no no oops concepts won't be there because those are uh, uh, project building concepts not problem solving okay of course we can but uh, something related to theory yeah hmm, yes i told right you need to contact these two number you can contact now itself so contact to this number make this payment and uh, our admin team will share the details okay so you have to follow those things yeah rakesh we will see those kind of programs also yeah anurag sure almost uh, four sessions or five sessions will be free sir then after that payment link we are going to get yeah recursion problems will be there recursion problems will be there yeah you can contact nikhil contact to this number 8096969696 contact to this number they will share each and every information okay yes shall we continue shall we continue yeah sir please put your doubts ahead we will discuss your doubts later okay let me go with our task next sir uh, here what is our agenda what is our daily activity okay what is our daily activity sir in lbp logic based programming what activity we are going to do sir very simple our first activity is nothing but we are going to read the problem statement we are going to read the problem statement very clearly we are going to read the problem statement very clearly okay sir after reading the problem statement okay one minute uh, any one link i will i will show you so that you people will get some idea one minute sir please wait sir you can see this is nothing but one of the uh, program challenge which we are going to discuss sir lbp number 10 10th, 10th program sir we are going to read this problem statement clearly what is a problem statement we have to implement a program to calculate sum of digits sum of odd digits present in the given number and input a number we have to supply from the user the constraint is nothing but the number should be greater than 0 sir what is a output print sum of odd digits suppose if the given number is 123 in this which are odd digits sir 1 and then 3 2 is not a odd digit so 1 plus 3 is nothing but 4 they have given input and output also sir just we have to fill that gap that's all how many people submitted this code 16 people max score is one difficulty level is nothing but medium okay now sir sample test case 2 is also there 
one zero one odd numbers is nothing but one and then one. So one plus one is nothing but two, right? Sir, so you 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 will be having a panel. Here you have to implement in C language if you want. You can go, sir. In C plus plus if you want, you can implement in C plus plus, sir. If you want Java, you can implement in Java. If you want in Python, you can implement in Python. After typing the code, just you need to run for checking purpose. If everything is clear, you can submit the code, sir. Like what is our first step, sir? We have to read the problem statement. Then. we are going to divide we are going to divide the problem okay we are going to dividing the problem so what is our requirement if problem is very big then it will be useful if it is a small chota program no need to divide the problem directly we can implement that. then we have to find the, the logic to solve the problem okay to logic to solve the problem sir in the previous program if you see in the previous program what is the logic sir what is the logic sir just we have to read okay we have to read a number n u m from the user from the user next what we have to do sir divide that number into digits into digits okay then what is the third step sir check whether okay check whether that digit is odd or not sir if odd then add to sum else ignore sir finally what is our requirement we have to print the sum sir let me let me read this problem statement one by one suppose assume i have given the number called 12345 what is the first step read the number yes assume this is the number what is the second step divide that number into digits so 1 2 3 4 5 like this i divided we have to write a loop to get these digits check whether that digit is even sorry odd or not sir first one is it odd yes sir if odd then add it to sum initially sum is equal to 0 add this one sir 0 plus 1 will become 1 is 2 is odd no ignore that is 3 is odd yes add to that 3 plus 1 will become 4 Is four is odd? No, ignore this. Five is odd? Yes, add it to that. Nine, sir. After reading all the data, print the value of sum. Sum is nothing but nine. That's all. That we have to do, sir. Next, once if analysis is completed, we have to implement the problem. You have to implement the program in C language, sir. I will explain in all the languages, and we have to implement the program in Java and uh, sir we have to implement we have to implement the program sir in python you need to solve this problem in all these cases okay sir implementing the problem in python will become very easy sir implementing the problem in python will become very easy sir we can write single line code for this okay i can write single line code for this let us see sir how i can write a single line code for this okay i will write here observe carefully sir we can we can write a single line sir sir rok ja ji sir how you can write sir very simple int of okay one minute so list of input list of input then sir int of i for each i in input sir if i percentage if sir int of i percentage 2 is not equal to 0 then you have to select that and you need to find out the sum of this and you need to print the value sir don't ask how it is going to work i will explain as a programmatic scenario in upcoming sessions this is the way for this problem sir how easily we can solve only single line code we have to write okay this is nothing but what we have okay and finally you need to sir run the program you have to run the program for compilation errors if no compilation error then we have to submit we have to submit the program okay for 
final approval okay so once if it is a success then you are going to get one point once if it is a success then you are going to get one point okay this is nothing but how you are going to solve the problem sir is it clear for you people please confirm yeah so like this we are going to solve okay i hope it is very clear right yes sir that's all about uh, this demo session sir tomorrow just uh, we need to go with the basics like uh, i want to explain how to write c c++ java and python programs basics like uh, i will take some three to four programs and then i will explain okay difficulty level in the program in the sense i am not getting sir here it is beginner from beginner level to advanced level it will take but at the initial problems itself you can't expect the difficulty level definitely around some 20 to 30 difficult problems you can expect social but not all difficult problems again i am telling sir the persons who want to learn from the scratch sir i don't know anything about program i want to practice and i need to learn coding yes definitely it is very helpful for you people okay at the first stage itself i won't go for the big programs slowly i will divide the problem i will explain pieces by pieces okay yeah and one minute i will show you the syllabus just a tentative syllabus is there with me uh, one minute one minute yes syllabus in the sense nothing sir all kind of programs you are going to get this is nothing but the syllabus so starting first program is even or odd like wired leap year e-commerce next number free coffee cups extract the digits sum of the digits duck number palindrome sir something related to the numbers almost we have then on the string we are going to have some problems and then uh, almost up to 100 we will get the programs on numbers and strings then we are going to get the programs on arrays okay complete programs on arrays almost 200 programs you are going to get on arrays and then we are going to get the problems on matrices around 50 problems you are going to get on matrices then from 300 onwards the problems which are asked in the previous interviews you are going to get this is nothing but the syllabus what we have okay yes sir tomorrow we will meet for the continuation again tomorrow i will explain this at top level for a few minutes and then we are going to cover c c plus plus java and python programs for displaying some message on the screen similarly to read the number and to write the number and similarly for performing addition operation like i will take some three to four programs in all the languages okay yeah i told already collection as a part of our program i will take sir yeah definitely Hassan, whatever company names you have posted on the chart window the same company previous papers also we are covering Hassan, okay whatever company names you have posted that will be there in our regular sessions also i mean previous programs the session timings already i intimated right the session timings are from 8 30 to 9 30 pm daily except on weekends ahmad the minimum one hour practice must be required see whatever problems i am explaining without seeing the solution you need to practice one more time in your home yeah same link only rakesh pattern programs monica we are going to spend a separate session on that those programs are not included in this but definitely we will see almost 100 programs 100 programs on patterns that will be covered as a part of workshop okay clear so hope all your doubts got clarified right
या वीडियो रिकॉर्ड वी विल प्रोवाइड सो दिस सेशन विल बी अपलोडेड इन द यूट्यूब फर्स्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज सेशन विल बी देर इन द यूट्यूब वन इफ यू रिजिस्टर यू विल गेट डे वन फ्रॉम डे वन क्लास नोट एंड देन वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग ओके yeah sir thank you uh, we will meet for the continuation tomorrow i already told 6 months 6 months access will be there yeah thank you so much for attending the demo session we will meet for the continuation tomorrow okay yeah thank you guys good night good evening friends welcome to durga soft online training myself k prakash babu having 12 years of experience in various technologies okay sir here we are we are starting a new logic based programming okay sir we are starting a new logic based programming batch okay sir with 350 plus programs sorry 300 plus programs but for this batch i promised 350 programs we are going to cover in c java and python so the implementation for this problem will be covered in all these three languages like for every program solution i am going to explain in c as well as java in python then let me give some brief introduction about the course and uh, what we have discussed in the last video okay sir this is the second class okay and uh, from uh, i mean tomorrow and day after tomorrow we don't have any session again the next session will be on 27th monday evening as usual 8:30 to 9:30 from monday we are going to start explaining the programs for you people and the course is nothing but lbp 5 this is the fifth batch sir and uh, the duration of the course is nothing but 3 months we are going to spend to discuss these 350 programs and make sure that you people have to ab- available in this time period that is 8:30 to 9:30 daily we are going to discuss problems monday to friday sessions will be there but if time situation based on the time and based on the coverage of syllabus we will take one or two sessions on saturday and sunday next the fees for this course is nothing but rupees 1500 indian currency and you have to register for this course by contacting to this number the number is nothing but 8096969696 please contact to this number and ask for payment link they will say share the payment link with that you have to pay and you need to get registered so after registration you are going to get running notes and videos and uh, regular class updates through mail okay and uh, what benefits you are going to get as usual sir whenever you are joining a course in our durga soft we will provide running notes on daily basis once if the class is completed i am going to upload that running notes in a google drive link where you can receive sir in the same manner i am going to upload even the video recording also video recording also we are going to provide then sir there will be some free workshops will be organized by myself uh, sir uh, here see we are concentrating implementations only that is uh, so suppose if you have a problem how you can able to solve the problem coding coding we are going to see but in that there may be a need of some basics sir like arrays what is mean by array strings regular expression recursion okay looping statement patterns all these things are required for that we are going to plan a separate workshop only for special focusing on logic based programming batch students sir you can attend these workshops freely and uh, 
videos and running uh, running notes material will be shared for you people regarding those things so simultaneously you get the language uh, language level concepts also and uh, we are going to provide a hacker rank link permanent hacker rank link we are going to provide sir in that whatever new program is going to come to my database i will upload so that lifetime validity it is going to be there for you so daily you can practice the programs on this hacker rank link okay a separate link we are going to create for our batch this is nothing but introduction to the course and what benefits you are going to get and what is our daily activities sir we are going to do these things daily sir daily we are going to solve the problems sir in this eight steps what is the first step sir first we have to read the problem statement what we have and you need to divide the problem suppose if the problem is very big you need to divide that problem into individual pieces then you have to solve that problem sir how you can solve that problem for that you have to think the logic and you need to implement sir then the implementation of the program will be there in c and we are going to implement in java and we are going to implement in python and we have to run the program and if there is any compilation error it will show that error suppose if there is no compilation error you can submit the program for final approval where every program you are going to get one point sir first i will explain one program how you can able to solve then i will go with uh, sir basics of c language how you can able to uh, write a message on the screen how you can able to read the data that part i will explain okay sir i will take one previous batch uh, link is there okay one minute one minute sir i am taking that previous batch link okay logic based programming batch link i am taking so from the time explaining for you people okay so i will take any one problem and i will try to solve for you people yes sir please confirm is my screen is visible please confirm is the hacker rank screen is visible yes sir very good now here i want to solve one problem sir here i want to solve one problem what is that a problem is nothing but let me take sir logic based programming number 4 okay sir here you can able to see some big problem is there okay no need uh, that part we will take later let me take small program because we need to explain demo purpose right yes yeah so let me take one problem here observe here implement a program that takes a number as an argument sir you have to read a number from the user okay sir you have to read a number from the user and then you need to increment uh, the value by plus 1 and returns the result sir you need to read a number and you have to add plus 1 and you have to return the result sir sample test cases also they have provided like if the input is 0 output should be 1 sir if input is 4 output is nothing but 5 sir one value we have to increment beyond that nothing is there sir i want to run this program in java okay i want to take this program in java sir how you can able to solve this problem if you want to read the data compulsory we have to declare an object for scanner class because in the scanner class you can able to read data dynamically from the user based on the primitive types what you are providing like if you want you can read integer value 
or if you want you can read floating point value sir if you want you can read a string value all these things are possible anyway don't worry i will explain a program and i will explain some what theory related to this scanner class sir i created one object then you need to read the number because they are asking to read a number sir obj dot next in time taking yes i am reading the integer value then what is their duty sir they are asking you need to add plus 1 to this number and store the result in the same number and then sir you have to print the result system dot out dot print ln of num like this they are asking sir if you run the code sir first it will check is there any mistake in your program if there is no mistake sir for the given possible test cases is it returning proper result or not it will validate internally sir suppose consider i am not taking semicolon here so what will happen sir it raises a error message saying sir something semicolon is missing like you need to solve this problem by your own okay suppose consider uh, instead of n plus 1 sir instead of number plus 1 i am taking number minus 1 sir there is no error in the program but the problem is sir you have not solved properly for the given input and output then you are going to get into mark like this sir your code did not pass this test case because your input is nothing but zero sir whatever your program is returning is nothing but Minus one, but my expected answer is nothing but eleven. Sir, for test case two also, the input is four, your output is three, but expected output is nothing but five. Right? Like this, it has to be verified. So in such cases, what we have to do, you need to do like this. Okay. Anyway, for this, we have one special operator is there in Java, which is nothing but plus plus, which is called as increment operator. Now I am running. Yes, working properly, and you can submit the code for final test cases. Okay, sir. Public test cases only four. Private test cases almost six test cases are there. You can able to see here, sir. All the test cases are passed. Your status is accepted, and how much score I got, sir? One point. Like this, a fresh link I am going to provide for you people, sir. You can see the remaining students' position also here. Okay. you can see the remaining position remaining students position sir who are doing this program like this sir you can practice right what are those test cases saho is it, it, it these test cases are hidden these test cases are hidden only public test cases i am going to reveal remaining things uh, sir if i if i am displaying output uh, input and output you can able to solve the problem but you need to solve the problem by reading this problem statement and whatever input output formats they have given and whatever constraints you have sir based on that you have to provide implementation forget about test cases private test cases it won't be visible for you even in the company coding challenges also they are going to provide a platform like this where you have to type the program minimum 10 test cases will be there if you secure more than 6 test cases if you are passing for the program yes you are eligible for the next round in wipro okay they are going to give three programs in this three programs you have to solve minimum two programs in the coding round sir for those two programs first first program 10 test cases second program 10 test cases minimum 6 will be there for one and other program 7 suppose if you were uh, first program is 7 second program is 6 no problem it is accepted like uh, some test cases also minimum these many test cases you have to pass like this there are some constraint some company people are going to conduct sir not some maximum company people are going to conduct coding challenges in this scenario only that is the reason why we are introducing these type of coding challenges for the students okay sir you can see one more program just for your reference purpose sir implement a program to calculate a sum of odd digits present in the given number sir i want to solve this problem by using c okay how you can able to solve this problem first we have to read a number called n and a digit must be required sum you have to calculate 
sir now by using scanf statement you can read a data from the user you know very well okay then sir while initially sum is equal to 0 sir while until your n value is not equal to 0 sir don't worry just for demo purpose i am explaining for you please don't worry okay please don't worry now n is not equal to 0 sir i am taking digit is equal to n percentage 10 then sir you have to check the condition whether your digit is odd digit or not if it is the odd digit what we have to do sir sum is equal to sum plus d we have to take then n is equal to n by 10 we are taking that's all finally you have to print the result don't worry i will explain in detail about this in our programs like with the diagram i will explain because calculating some of the digits is a very very important program even in future also we are going to see these type of programs in matrices and even in arrays that is the reason sir you need to learn very clearly in the beginning sessions itself okay next if you run the program it is going to run against public test cases yes both public test cases are passed now you need to submit the code for final test cases yes i think all the final test cases are satisfied this is the way how you can able to solve this problem by using c language implementation like this for every problem you can able to expect a c language code you can able to expect a java code you can able to expect python code for every problem okay sir even if i am giving any homework for you people definitely i will do as a part of my duty okay then sir after completion of this i am going to copy paste the program whatever we have done you can maintain this reference reference document sir even in your future also just you can search for the program you can search for the program and that program code will be there for you okay sir it will be very useful when you are going for any coding round just half an hour or one hour you can refer this document if time permits you can take print out also sir okay yeah sir i think uh, how you can able to solve the problem in hacker rank the mode the approach what we are going to follow sir i think it is very clear for you people right sir forget about the coding definitely i will explain it is my duty okay yes sir up to this do you have any doubts please confirm Yeah, morning it is not possible to take the batch. This batch is specifically from 8.30 to 9.30, sometimes 9.45 like that. And the payment details are shared in our chart window. Please look into it and try to register as early as possible. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can contact to this number. I already told, right? You can contact to that number, 8096969696. They will provide the details. Or you can send to durgasoftonline at gmail.com. Yeah, Akshay, at the beginning level, today that is a task. How to print a message on the screen, how to read the data from the user, that part only I'm explaining in today's section. Okay, so we are not entering into the actual challenges because uh, um, basics is important. At least whatever concepts we are using in our program, at least you should have a minimum knowledge. That's why, sir, as a part of that, we will see how to uh, interact with uh, reading and writing io operations that part we are going to discuss now akshay don't worry yeah yeah
yeah this timing this timing was uh, fixed sir it is not possible to change because some other sessions are there for me from 7 to 8:30 okay yeah programming topic mayank kumar we are going to cover all these areas like uh, programs on numbers programs on strings especially programs on arrays programs on matrices okay all this area we are going to touch only on arrays we have almost uh, 50 to if not 50 70 to 80 programs are there okay data structures we are not covering i already told data structures is not there in this for data structure a separate batch will be there you can join for that because here we are concentrating on problem solving okay no there is no morning batch ds problems if uh, i already told in the last class itself so if any suppose if i am taking any program somewhere i want to introduce a q concept then we will take that q concept and we will implement here okay but we are not going to cover that q data structure in detail in our course are you getting my point so if 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 anything is required we will bring that into our concepts but uh, that complete concept we are not moving something like we are going to embed that concept in our program but that part we are not going to cover as a separate topic that's what i am explaining sir data structures if demand here we will use that data structure but program to implement a stack data structure queue data structure you can't expect such type of programs from here okay because it is related to the problem solving not theoretical concepts okay yeah sorting technique will be there see uh, if i have a elements uh, they will ask us to sort the elements in different different genres okay but uh, you can apply any algorithm we have almost six to seven types are there efficient techniques like merge sort quick sort bubble sort selection sort insertion sort like that you can apply any sorting technique but all these sorting techniques final output is the same right so that point we are covering here you can implement in any sorting technique okay yeah python batch uh, you can expect maybe in the first week of january evening times yes yes we are going to plan that batch also yeah yes sir remaining doubts we will discuss later sir let me continue our content now sir what is today's agenda is nothing but sir first i want to explain some programs for you people sir i want to explain some programs for you people okay let us see what is that sir please ask relevant doubts okay <laughs> dijango all these things not required here so you can able to see uh, our telegram group is there in that you can expect all my batches okay sir uh, java by k prakash babu sir or python by k prakash babu sir sir you can able to expect these courses from my side java is there sir python is there okay then this logic based programming is there okay and moreover sir full stack okay sir full stack java developer batch is there okay and then sir core core and advanced java core and advanced java sir both package batches are there so from my side okay so this uh, full stack java developer batch is going to start on 29th sir 29th december 2021 sir at morning 8 o'clock okay so the link is already there in our telegram group you can check it okay similarly sir python batch date is not yet announced but it will be in the sir first week of uh, january january sir 2022 maybe in the evening times you can expect and in the same slot 
you can expect one java batch also java batch in the sense core and advanced java okay same maybe in the first week or uh, second week of uh, jan jan 2022 same in the evening timings only these are my upcoming batch details okay if anyone interested yeah you can thank you now sir let me go for uh first i want to talk about output statement sir if i want to print any output on the screen sir how you are going to print in c language sir we have one statement is there with name sir printf maybe you know about this printf you can take a message here sir which is going to print that message on the screen okay similarly in c++ sir we have i sorry c out is there sir we have to take a message here that a message will be printed on the screen sir i will take a message here welcome is nothing but my message here also welcome is nothing but my message then sir how you are going to print the message on java in java we have different approaches are there first thing system dot out dot println welcome we can use like this sir next one is nothing but uh, sir you can take a system dot out dot print ln of uh, welcome like this also we can print some slight changes will be there that part as a uh, while explaining the program itself i will take sir then system dot out dot uh, printf also we can take sir do you know it is a similar to this one how your c language printf is using same printf they have provided in java also next sir what about python sir in python directly we have print sir you can take the message even semicolon is not required python is a dead easy programming language sir these are nothing but uh, statements what we have and uh, please wait for another 5 to 10 minutes sir i am going to explain the complete concept for you people with examples sir first example write a c program to print sir welcome to c language okay on the screen i want to print this message on the screen for this requirement i have to write the program and the same program i am going to take for c++ also but i need to print on c++ here i want to print on java here i want to print on python this is nothing but my requirement i want to solve this problem write a c++ program okay or write cpp program write a java program write a python program sir first let me start about uh, c language sir i want to write a program to print simple welcome to c language message on the screen sir for this purpose i am going for one online editor sir one online compiler is there with me what is that online compiler is nothing but jodel jodel website sir you can practice the programs even in your mobile also sir it is a online compiler which is providing 76 languages support with two databases also okay it is a online compiler and editor sir these are nothing but various programming languages what they have but in this what is our requirement sir you need to go with java sir you need to go with c and you have to go with c++ and you have to go with sir java and python where is my java where is my python python 3 is there sir java somewhere it will be available yeah yeah first first here itself we have so now i want to solve the problem in c language right let me open c editor this is nothing but the compiler what we have sir here you have to type the program here and you have to click the execute button and if your program demands any input you need to type here and it is expecting results will be printed on this is black screen this is nothing but uh, the functionality of this jodel don't worry sir i will explain how we how you are going to work but anyway in our course uh, all these things automatically done just you need to write the code and you need to click on execute inputs already i supplied output already i have given so no need to take by ourselves right now i am going to write the program what is the first step hash include 
sir if you want to work with printf so what we have to do sir someone have to write the instructions for printf function sir printf function is going to be done like this then you need to do some activity for this purpose that activities are already stored in the library format like if you want to send a message in whatsapp sir i want to send a good night symbol followed by some sweet dreams okay and uh, i want to send a smiley symbol sir if you want to use a smiley symbol in your whatsapp sir some library should be there in that library every smiley is registered there sir our whatsapp is automatically importing that library and it is working suppose maybe in your library you have 10 uh, emojis are there 10 uh, smiley symbols are there maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow you can expect five more new smileys that will be added once if you perform update operation like if you want to perform any activity repeatedly sir the data will be available in the form of library the data will be available in the form of library sir from that you can able to extract okay sir just one minute please wait one minute